Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, session 60, somehow. It's the 13th of July, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I am Colin, and I will be playing like Quint. Um, yeah, there you go. Hi. <laughs> I am Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the vest captain. Yes. Alright, I'm Alex, and I'll be playing Weird, that's it, the Android Mechanic. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, the mystical space rat who might be inside the sun. We don't know. Good. What do you remember from last time? Uh, I've, I've already stated my thoughts last time. I went on a ship <laughs> with the captain. Uh, uh, sorry, captain level two. Uh, Cap, yes. Rank the other two. ones went yeah. on a different ship. Uh, people we missed like, the sun. The like captain's level one. And they went somewhere and it didn't work, I think. I don't know. Yeah, they, well, they, they, they missed the, sp the, the, the jump spot. Well, no, uh, we were supposed uh, to <laughs> hold, 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 hold the box. Hold the, hold the box. Hold the sun. Hold the sun. Hold the sun. We were supposed. The timer came down to when we would come out of drift, drift. space. I think, mm -hmm. and then the timer just kept going down, and nothing happened. And we're like, oh, we're still. Did you pr press the exit space button? Um, pass. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> the allegations that I have before me. The defending what the definition of is is. <laughs> yes. But for neither had the X space button. <laughs> is this thing going to have a water pilot? I mean, pretty much, yeah. Like, it's a pretty yeah. well, like, it's a pretty <laughs> self sufficient <laughs> ship. Uh. I don't expect me to pilot the ship myself. <laughs> just plug, just plug weird into the ship. You know, that's the that's the solution to most things, I think, or at least we're heading that way. Um, okay, it's so it can become the ship. What else happened? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Any details yeah, there? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> well done. I was just going a bit speaking to some peeps. Um, you don't have to give us the intro like the Fresh Prince of fucking Bel Air, by the way. Upside down. <laughs> Disclaimer: We are all very white. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alice is not good. Mm -hmm. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Something <laughs> 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 um, yeah, there's just a lot of talk, a lot of, lot of people talk, getting ready for the journey, then pilot error, and we got fine because I was a good pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she has rewired half the ship. Um. <laughs> well, that's fine because the other half has also been rewired now. Yes, by CC. <laughs> there are no wires. No. No one knows how it works. I got no strings. Yes, it's all good. And, uh,. Do we have anything else? I think uh, Alex may have tried to say something in the mass of verbality there. Nah. Okay, good. Probably uh, not. <laughs> so, goals. Yes. Yes. I, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I don't see any goals, I only see soups. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> soup one. Establish self sustaining revenue. Oh man, this hurts. It's absolutely hang on the money, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah. We need to do that. It's literally bang on the money. Yep. Like Shane McMahon's theme tune. Number two, make Robo Body Parts Company with Bug Lord. Yep, my actual plan to achieve goal one for the captain. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The fun thing about number two is I have absolutely no idea 
it's that's a that good tent. one, by that's big brain, by the way, Alex. I didn't realise what you were pulling. That was a good one, mate. That's <laughs> <a good one, laughs> <laughs> some prime cheese, man. Like, my, my, my brain reads that it's like you're trying to make Robo Body leave uh, that's Checklix <laughs> organisation. Right, that's. I, I literally cannot part that. I know it's meant to say, but I can't read it as. Yes, I understand that. Yes, make the Robo Body parts. The pollens are bought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. <laughs> He's failed our capture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome, true. Um, failed capture would be a great username, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> goal three. <laughs> Change the font. <laughs> uh, retrieve Ivan the King of Ooh Baby. Do you know what that's worth? <laughs> I wonder who could have changed that one, Colin. <laughs> Uh, I said that, that was me. <laughs> King of the ooze. And that is. Yeah, fine. Gonna harm. Today, probably. Maybe. Well, given how the last session ended. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We, we might have tracked in the, the, Well, we might have found some instances of sightings of the ooze. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Previous I find that. Yeah, CC right. actually doing his surveillance job. Yeah. 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 85% match, buddy. Are you Netflix? Uh, no, CC might be though. Um, oh, wow. Well, it's Space Slicks, obviously. Um, goal four? Um, yes. Talk us through the yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in addition, uh, f further to my previous comments, uh, I think we should bring our contacts and verses up to date and potentially gain their assistance uh, going forward uh, into the uh, next financial 12 monthly. Yes. Uh, what I'm saying is, yeah, we think we should stick with that. <coughs> okay. Go five. Confront the Reign Supreme about time travel and how much he knew already knows knew about the importance of retrieving the solar egg. Now. <coughs> I'm going to leave it where it is, but it, depending on where we are, that might change. I mean, I really hope it changes, because currently we've got soup, ream, and time travel, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> retriving. Um, retriving. Okay, right, first of all, retriving is my own spelling. I, I, I understand that, that's fine, but like in the combination of everything, it's just glorious. Yeah, soup, uh, where's time? Ream, Time. Where is time? I think that's Zig's problem. <laughs> and oh, I, I don't know how to spell. What did I say? Retriving. Retriving. Yes. Retriving. I think is what you actually Ret wrote. Is retrie retrieving. You know what? I'll just delete the whole word. It's a vampire. <laughs> I've heard that too much too often recently, Colin, because of us playing that game. <laughs> uh, no. Hey, you even pulled out a few times. Yes, I did. I think I may have instigated it. Um, but normally I only have to do that oh once boy. a week, right? <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I, I like the fact that you, you did the standard thing, which was, I don't know how to spell the word, so I'll use different words. I like that, because that, who doesn't do that? Uh, any goals uh, that you don't think you can get done this session? This I mean, that session? Or yes. This will get done this session? Hmm. Mm. So that's an interesting point. <sighs> right. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're I'm pretty confident number two won't happen, or number one, or yeah. number three, <laughs> uh, or number five. Uh, so Mate, number <laughs> three? What you thought about number three? Number three's happening in this session, first thing. Thought about it. Mm, are you sure it'll be that easy? Mate, no, but I mean, <laughs> exactly. Like, I've got to be filled with confidence of a captain, right? It's <laughs> well, as a captain. I've got to trick you into thinking it's fine, okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh, but well, that was easy. Um, As the poor captain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if you are his co captain. I think you're oh, Alice yeah, and Finn's co captain. But, uh, yeah. And with your yeah, other sub. Okay. Your other You need to fix your fucking ship hierarchy, buddy. Um, For any listeners yeah, at home, right, not I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll take the boxes, okay? <laughs> I'll go take the fucking boxes and sort out my. Uh, your guild like, privileges. Like, <laughs> okay, well, 
if everybody's happy with the goals, or at least indifferent towards them, let's uh, move on. What about horrified? I mean, th that's usually my job. Um, okay. Like, need I remind us the other goal page exists? Um, <laughs> so, yes. Welcome, people who... Who am I joking? Person who has listened to this far. Um, thank you. We know who you are. Uh -huh. Well, they know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and when are you? So I really want to know. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> if you'll be my girl? <laughs> like no, I, I was uh, going for the who. Who are you? Who? who? <laughs> the song needs... I don't think anybody wanted to know. Very obscure song that no one knew until it was made famous by Law and Order. Yeah. Um. So, Starfinder, the fragments of eternity, session sixty. Session sixty, boys. Yeah. Law and Order. Session sixty. Expecting more of a like a woo. Woo. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Is <laughs> this is what happens. So, <laughs> this is the warning to anybody else who we're playing. Stop Any budding GMs out there. Stop oh, it. Before 60. Yeah, stop. Just, you know, wait a minute. when it was good. It's, yeah. it's it's good it's, it sounds life. like such an appealing milestone, but mm -hmm. when you get there... <laughs> 59 yeah. or go bust. Right, so... Here uh, we are. Quite fine. <laughs> uh, my solution to the pension crisis. Whoa! The, the the population time bomb, you know. Stop before sixty. Right. So. You know. <laughs> I don't know how to even tackle that. I feel like. Ageist <laughs> Thanos here needs to just simmer a little bit. Uh, it's so bad that we all go. Let's just reinforcing why we shouldn't increase the retirement age. I don't well, know if everyone one. under twenty, like maybe every, you know, well, like a third of the under twenties, maybe Alex. Like, well, I feel we like... could decimate the population across the board. Hmm. Like it worked for the Romans. That's why they're still here. Yes. <laughs> why there's such a strong political power. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, like. The millennials are still at that right age where they can produce a new generation. Do we need Gen Z? Wow. Um, yeah, we'll give them a lost generation. I mean, how cool would it be being part of the lost gen? Yeah. Generation Z, I'm sorry, you suck. You're just a repeat of Gen X. You've been voted off. Yeah, you were the leak. Uh, yep, the leakest wink. <laughs> you were the leakest, leakest wink. wink. The leakest <laughs> wink. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna add that in. So the <laughs> leakest. <laughs> You're wink. all that gif of Orihimi spinning the leak. Yep. You know the one, the one mm -hmm. that was popular like 15 years ago. God, I'm so old. It was 20, but yeah. Um, was it? No, it can't be. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, anyway, so Starfinder in the game that we're playing, kind of. Or at least we turn up next to it. Um, so, the camera focuses in on the title screen so that we know where we are. And then... Okay, random background. Yep. Um, <laughs> we open up on the count. It really threw me off there. We open up on the counter that is still going to the negative numbers on the, the screen of the Azure Flare. And uh, yeah, I think we had the it's not my fault line from Weird. And I think we just have Escape, or should I say Isabel, turn to the group and just say. Weren't we supposed to drop out? That's conventionally what happens, yes. Hmm. I'll be in the engine room. And she leaves the, the bridge. Um, and then having flashes of the, the previous time. 
Miss Furler and the next five were in the engine room on the last vessel. I think it's gonna go to the engine room too. We tried turning it off and on again. Do we know what happens when you just turn everything off in drift? I feel like that's something they should tell you whether you should or shouldn't do. I think Snyder's just sat in the chair, like, rubbing her chin. Like her lips kind of pursed a bit, like she's thinking really hard. Not part of your plan? And she kind of like slowly nods. And like she's aware there is there's noise directed at her, and then she like turns and looks at you and says, "It's not supposed to go into those numbers, is it?" Ideally, no. And no, it's. Uh, can I press the off button, please, Joe? You want to shut the drive in, like the the drift drive down? Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think you could um, you could push all the buttons on the uh, the console to do that. Yeah. Push many buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, many buttons has been pushed, and yeah, nothing's shut down. I would like to kick the console. Consider it kicked. In fact. Excellent. Dented. Thoroughly. My big armory boot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and kick the drive, the drift engine. Thanks. Okay, so you're going to head down to the engine room as well. Yes. Cool. And um, I think uh, as you're leaving the uh, the bridge to head down to the uh, the engine room, like Thaya says, try not to damage anything else on your way. We may need it for the return trip. Might not be a return trip if we don't sort this out. Yes, the phrase, sort this out. I know I'm new to a lot of new things, however, kicking them, hmm. Crossive maintenance has its place. She just like nods slowly and she says, I'm sure there's a bill here. And she just kind of says, but go try and solve this. I will head down. <laughs> and uh... Do something stupid to her. So, I think when you leave the bridge, she turns and looks at Zig. What is Zig doing just now? Uh, oh, sorry, I, thought, um, I said I was going to the engine room. Alright, okay. I didn't hear that. Um, maybe I didn't say it out loud. I'm sure I did, but... You did, <laughs> I'm, I'm did but then... That's fine. When I was thinking about the last time that uh, SK and... Uh, See, I heard you saying you were thinking point. about that, but I never heard the engine room part. Mm hmm but um, yeah, cool. If you want to head down to the engine room as well, yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Continue. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Thayda just like is left in the bridge, staring out at like the drift space blue wash going past. The counter on the, the display just kind of like ticking away. She just kind of like swivels on the captain's chair a bit, and then just looks at the armrest and kind of flicks a couple of buttons up, and then just stares at them for a bit. And then we cut to the engine room. So. You just, I think uh, you get there by the time uh, I guess, like, who who left first? Zig or um, uh, I think it's Zig went first. Yeah. yeah, so I think you get there and like you just see um, Isabel like, like trying to like pull away certain kind of panelling from the wall mm -hmm. uh, with like, you know, engineering equipment to try and like remove paneling to get access to some of the more because keep in mind it's quite a sleek design the ship it's not necessarily the easiest uh -huh. to accessible so she's basically just trying to expose some of the uh, the parts of the ship to try and get access to it and then I think yeah you've probably got like a enough time for some dialogue or some action just before a uh, weird pops in I think literally all Zig would um, do say is <coughs> What are you doing? And 
How do I help? I think like maybe she's like lying on her back, like you know, drilling something possibly. I and then she looks up at you and she says, "Well, I'm not exactly familiar with this specific engine, but I figured I'd look for something that looked broken. Do you want to grab a drill and start taking this place apart, and we'll look for something that's broken?" She kind of like shrugs. Which maybe looks a bit weird because she's on her back. Um, and then I guess they kind of, I guess, looks for and grabs a drill and starts drilling. Yeah, and you can see like one of the panels in the wall has been pulled out, like um, like one of those fancy fitted kitchen things, yeah. and it's like a rack of different tools. Yeah, um, I think you would just grab the the meanest looking drill thing, and um, I guess start working from like the opposite. Mm-hmm. Or as close to the opposite side as um, um, Isabel, and I think that's maybe what the the image uh, weird walks into is uh, Zig lifting a drill and heading to the opposite side of the uh, the engine room. That's maybe what you Zig. See. What are you doing with the drill? I'm gonna look for broken things. Right. With the drill. The wall. Uh. I think what you want is just... no. That's fine. Uh, continue, uh, uh, Isabel. What do you have any hunches as to what's up? I will let you know in a second. So, she's like halfway, like she's on her back, halfway into like a wall panel, um, mm-hmm. and. She like slides herself a bit out so she can like see you, um, and she says, "Hunches as to what's happened. Not yet. I'm looking for something that looks broken. I don't know how familiar you are with this ship, but at the moment, nothing looks broken." And she's like nodding up to like where she is. It's like, but this. This could be a redundant system. I don't know. This is a pleasure yacht. To... She kind of shrugs a bit. She's like, if it was something a bit more hardcore, like a battleship, I could probably find the problem easier because it's probably going to explode. She kind of shrugs. Um, I do know we didn't come out adrift. Yes, I noticed that bit. Thank you for your expertise. Uh... She's like, is that. So she is, she kind of like um, as you're like thank you for everybody. She goes, could you use yours though, and then she's like maybe relieve our young officer there and uh, find the problem hopefully. Yeah, I'll get right on with that. And like she just crawls herself, wiggles back under the the panel she's in, and she's working her way into the uh, the belly of the ship, Sinjin. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm not actually going to take the thing off the zig. Um, <laughs> is there any sort of maintenance panel or like computer system down here? There'll be like a diagnostic computer, yeah. Yeah, I will go and tap that first. Yeah, do you want to give me a? I don't know. I feel like do you want to just roll computers and engineering, right? Because I feel like you're going to use both okay. anyway um, to try and work out what's going on. Well, I don't know how to use the computer apparently. I think it's more just that the computer is not giving you data that makes sense for what's happened, right? Yep. So it's almost like whatever would have fed the computer the information doesn't seem to be working. The diagnostic panel has some issues. Yes, the damage report computer has been damaged. (laughs) 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 I never thought I'd get to naturally use that in the game. I love it. (laughs) Oh. Oh, man. So good. Yes. So yeah, I think you go to the computer and it tells you everything's fine, so you could just ignore the computer, I think is the best interpretation of that. I pointedly turn the monitor off. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is Sig doing when you're kind of being like, you know, overshadowed, I guess, a bit? I think um, if you if you'd kind of managed to get like a bit of panel off, you'd maybe have kind of looked around inside to just see if anything looks like, you know... Obviously, broken like sparks flying out of something. Um, Why don't you roll engineering then? 
because I'm probably not good at it, that's why. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Logical. Oof. I mean, it's all broken to you, I guess. Or, um, or, or all fine. Yeah. Um, I think I think at that he would um, maybe, you know, come come out of the, the, the wall and um, look at the... Just kind of look around. And I think he'd like try and detect magic on, like, around the, the drift drive or whatever, the engine-y stuff to see if there's, like, out some other sources of foolery going on. One second, then. If you will. Mm, I need to work out one thing before you roll. If um, drift is magical. Yeah, one hundred percent that. Yeah, <laughs> that was my other thought. I was like, hmm, I don't know, but then I feel like Zig doesn't. Because magic takes a thing, right? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, but and I know that the gods gave drift travel knowledge to uh -huh. people. One. One god did. Well, technically. Triune. Three. Yes. Technically three. Um, oh, one made of three parts, but don't go giving like the Moritosh or any of them. Yeah, let's, yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, yeah. the Moritosh would have been like, why, why would they give them things? Give me drift, I'll eat it. Um, <laughs> yeah, the drift was exposed to mortals by the post-gap deity Triune and three, AG. My boy. This dimension cannot be accessed except through drift engine technology uh, associated with Triune, which gifted the technology to sentient races. Uh, let's see. It's treated as a transitive plane. I uh, technically... Here's that word that I struggle to pronounce. Is it coterminous? Um, yes. With the material plane. It's because my brain wants to read it as coterminous, but it's it's coterminous, right? Uh, Ultra minus would be a great character. Mm -hmm. Or dinosaur. Yes. Or both. Yeah. Dinosaur character. Both. Um, mm. Don't have dinosaur characters. We do not, except kind of Zora, I guess. Uh, a Zorasaurus Rex. Um, also, did you see that uh, mm -hmm. Zora is a Latverian name? I did tag you, by the way. Oh, is that a Latverian name? Yeah. <laughs> um, me neither. I'd only discovered it maybe when I was trying to call in afterwards. I'm Zora from Latveria. Um, right, two points, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to see the part where it maybe tells me if it's um, Magitech, because I wouldn't be surprised if all of them were Magitech or just Tech, right? It tells me magic functions normally in the Drift, except those that move creatures uh, or material into or out of the Drift. Uh, I don't think it is Magitech. Because nothing here has jumped out and said this is Magitech. Um, let's see. Locating a specific place in the drift is difficult with additive magic items, but that doesn't mean that the drift drive is magic. Drift beacons are a thing. The star stone is a thing. Uh, yeah, no, I think it isn't magic then. I think there's your answer right there. Um, I think it is just tech, until I read something that contradicts that. What a good question, though. Do you want to roll your... Um, I shall doobly do that. Well, I'll pop it in the doobly do. Yeah, and I think... Um, you probably still get that, like... There's still enough magical jank going on with weird, isn't there? Do you still have... magical jank. Do you still have the... Dabbler? Uh, yes. So yeah, you you still count as magical um, yeah. for at least that one feature. Never mind whatever else you've got going on, <laughs> like all the fucking magitech bullshit. Um, but yes, so I think weird, obviously, is a big source of energy. Um, little to none coming off of SK or Isabel, I should say, except may maybe like you know her gear. Um, I smell weakness. And um, but then again, technically, before when you saw her, she kind of seemed like some kind of big pure white light angelic thing that was kind of blinding. So mm. you know, hi, dying maybe turns the bulbs down a bit. Um, you've also mode. yeah. Um, but as for like 
any other kind of magic around the place. No, I don't think there would be much, to be honest. I am. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. I, as for weird, though, I, what do you do with your engineering role, given that you've decided to ignore the computer? Um, I'll go straight up to the middle of the engine and open up the panels and just kind of take all of the paneling off first and have a look at it. Okay, uh, yeah. Get proper systems view of it. Yeah, so like you start like working away at that, and then I think um, after like maybe... 10 minutes or something of you like exposing a good chunk of the the drift engine it's a or at least what you can expose without danger right being this close to the engine mm -hmm. uh, and then Isabel joins you and she kind of looks at you and she's like what have you learned and at the moment everything that you've kind of learned so far kind of tells you that the the engine itself is still getting all of the power it needs to form mm. drift travel because um, you're in the drift but the automatic shutoffs that would pull you out of drift never ever came on as if they'd been disconnected can I find them to reconnect them? yeah so I think there's probably probably more than one problematic area. The downside would be the fact that the computer doesn't tell you where they are. Yeah. Which means you'd need to go to all of like, let's call them fuse boxes, right? <laughs> you'd probably need to check every single one the ship had to find like the broken ones. Cool. Um, I'll explain to Zig how to check that. Mm -hmm. So we can get on with it quickly. Yeah. Um looping Isabel in as well? Uh, yeah, sure. May as well. I mean, many hands make light work, right? That's so. why I've got many hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, CC could probably have done this in like 20 minutes, right, himself, uh, by just building yeah, a second he's drift the engine. This <laughs> so, yeah, I thought his hands were normal sized. Wow. Wow. So, let's... um. Let's have you and Zig and Isabel make... What would it be to find these things first? Because I want to do the finding then the fixing as two different events. Uh, culture. I mean, I'm uh, tempted mm -hmm. to make a culture, but I feel like mm -hmm. there's another role that it could be like perception. perception yeah, is there no investigate? There is no investigate. Um, no. Man. Uh, what about... Survival. I what that was the next thing that came into my brain was survival. I'm like, I'm not going to make it a survival check. Um, yeah, thank you. I think what maybe would be worthwhile is is there an athletics? There is an yeah. athletic. I feel like maybe you need to, to just do athletic rules. So I'll give an escape rule for this. There, Isabel is going to take her time with this one apparently. Um, Zig might as well. But I think it's just running around the ship fast enough to try and shoot. Oh my god. I rolled a two. 25. Woohoo. <laughs> so, yeah. I think um, now I'm going to do the uh, the repairing roll for her. Okay. Does anybody else want to give me their, comp uh, their engineering? Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Uh. And then a. Uh, can you give me a physical sciences rule weird? Oof. Okay, cool. You so you get like it just means it takes time, right? That's what the athletics checks yeah. were really for. So it just means it takes a while because nobody seemed fussed about running. Um, I think during this montage of you just running around the ship checking every single kind of junction box around the place, you just get clicks back to Thanaida just swiveling and finding more buttons to test um, on her chair. And then not really knowing what a lot of them do and then, you know, the lights changing colour occasionally. And eventually she just kind of like calms down like kind of mid midway through for an update. Um, <laughs> what do you tell her is going on? Trying to find some switches somewhere on the ship. 
And she just looks down at the switches she's been me messing with. She goes, what kind of switches? The automatic drift disengagement things. That sounds important. I will leave you to this. Yes. And she nods even though you can't see it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and I think like it takes you a while to get this done. Like I think maybe again Zig doesn't necessarily have the, the right skill set to pull this off. Um, I think while Zig's still fixing one, either Isabel or Weird just get to that one and help. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um cool. let's roll to see who who got there first, right? So do you want to just roll a D twenty and I'll roll a D twenty? Um Try. And uh Oh Cool. So she just gets there um, before you and I don't think she would even want to interact in terms of the like teaching you. I think she just wanna fix it as soon as possible. Right? So it's like she wouldn't necessarily show you how to fix it. She wouldn't push you out the way or like be rude about it, but she would just come in and do it, right? With a junction box. I think that like maybe to. like having just faffed with it for you know a good amount of time, he's quite happy to step back and go. <sighs> yeah, and I think um, when she kind of wraps up there, she's like, she kind of like turns to you, and closes over like the junction panel, and then looks at you, and she's like, "No offense, but I don't think we've got time for lessons today, unfortunately." She kind of like nods resolutely once, you know, with a tight, a tight lip, and then like marches off to find the next junction box. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just to reinforce the fact that she wasn't just, you know, there to... Had this been a teaching ship, she'd let you do it, you know, all day, but this may no, we'd, kill we'd you guys. No, we get out of drift. Like, he, yeah. he, get, he gets that. He's not, like, salty about it. Or anything. Yeah. And, oh. um, yeah, I think the, so. The physical science role that yeah, you did you know. weird is you trying to suss out what could have caused this in the first place, based on like the effects on the junction boxes you're witnessing, and there is a good chance you phasing through a lot of the ship possibly caused a lot of these things to short out. That seems impossible, Brian. It probably does with your physical science role. I am. Um, <coughs> And I think that's like the, because you're old so bad like that. I think your like your viewpoint on that is well, that shouldn't have happened. That yep. can't be the reason this happened. Um, but you definitely bring up that possibility, and I feel like you maybe don't have enough evidence to say that is what was the reason. Uh, but that's definitely the reason. Just saying. Um, but I will tell nobody that that's. Of course, yes. This is why it was your yeah. role when nobody else is. Um, Isabel's more focused on getting it fixed, quite frankly. Um, but yes, so you uh, re-rig everything. Uh, do you go to the bridge or to the engine room after that? Weird. Uh, to the engine room. Okay. And uh, what's the plan? Going to see if it's working now. Well, the engine's working. Connected. Okay. Uh, yep. And you've reconnected all the disconnects that happened. Yep. Yep. Uh, is there a big red button that says stop? What's the only like emergency stop the engine? Yep. Cool. Hit the button. I hit the button. Okay, hit the button. And then we cut over to the other ship. So. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yay. <laughs> <sighs> so we uh, we move over to uh, the final hour, and Fine, okay. and we look at an excitable CC probably standing on the chest of a downed Zora, uh, as he's done his best to wake you back up after shooting you, um, and he's pointing excitedly at the fact that the the screen says it's an eighty five percent match. What do you do? I would get up after being shot. I don't think you were in the room, but if you weren't, why don't you be now? Okay. Unless you wanted to be elsewhere. No, I think it would be best to have me in the room. Yes. I feel like you should all have been brought into the room for exiting drift, right? 
Mm. That makes sense. That sounds right. Because mm -hmm. I really like seeing the planets appear, right? So it's where the special effects budget was spent. Well, Mother's cat being shot me. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Cat? Yeah, it was like a little cat fit, you know? Like, you know, when a cat just wants to murder you and there's nothing it can do to stop it. Kind of like that. Um, yeah. But this one is a gun. Mm hmm. <laughs> he's, a, he's like a cat with a gun. <laughs> you know, like a cat with a gun. Cat with a gun. Um, okay, so he's he's um he's pointing at the thing that says eighty number percent. Eighty five percent match. Yep. But like, just scowl and unhappy that I just got shot. Like, get it. Was he looking for again? Uh, uh, Ivan. Uh, Ivan. Oh, that was in character. Ah, <laughs> uh, but um, um, Ivan. Yeah. Uh, okay. Eighty-five percent. I mean, sure. That's pretty inclusive. It's a good match, but like, where's the one in six chance that it's not him? Where's that coming from? I think you see like CC like counting with his fingers up to six and then just looking at you and then going over to Zora's hand to take the gun back out of your hand, Zora. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, I take cover. Uh, give me gun. Okay. <laughs> That's so, yeah. a great idea. So yeah, I think he just points the gun at you, uh, Lyco. No shitting. He just screams at you. Scream back. He just I uh, shake my head slightly. I think Alice just swivels in the chair and is like, Is this the new normal? Um, I guess so. At least he's downgraded to a stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think she stands up and summons her fucking Technomancer Bazooka. Oh no! <laughs> no, on the ship! Whoa, 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 there's no need. There's no need. Also, no, that seems shit. extremely dangerous. <laughs> I think, um. So she does that. Like her, you know, big, you know, energy construct appears. CC looks up at it, his eyes go wide. Um, and he slowly backs just behind Zora and puts the gun in Zora's hand again. And <laughs> starts pointing it up at Zora, still looking at uh, Alice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And I'll be, yeah, that's right. I've always got a bigger gun. <laughs> I mean, you could possibly guess that his his body language is saying, shoot him, he's armed. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that Alice won't shoot me. <laughs> uh, Guys, this is uh, oh, a bit a of a thing. needless escalation. Yes. Then yes. No shooting. Alice, the ship. like no shooting of the crew members. Alice leans the kind of you know bazooka thing just like slightly off, off aim, and she says, "But he looks a lot more pacified now," and gestures oh. vaguely to the you know cowering CC behind Zora's leg. Yeah, I don't think. We need to pacify. Yeah. You're um, a, she looks at you and you're like, you're a war hero and you were shot by an angry cat. It's, it's fine, it's a stun gun. What's a cat? Uh, I heard it was, I heard it was a little uh, funny creature. Is this like the what's a dog we had last session? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the world I am from is metal hell. <laughs> I was doing an ambassador with a cat. He used to always just sit there and always hiss at me for some reason. Mm. <laughs> he is a small furry thing, I see, looking at CC. So I guess that much is true. I think CC just looks down at his fur and just starts tugging at it. Ah. Hmm. Uh, Alice dismisses her bazooka. So, are we going. Is that our first priority, cat? The uh, ooze retrieval? Um, well, let's have a look at where exactly this match is. Let's have a closer look, because let's see, whereabouts it 
you. How do you work this thing? Like Alice just then says, so maybe we should consider if we're reporting our presence or not first. You know, captain and captain. Um, and she then probably, says captain and nods to CC as well. Probably keep that on the, the DL. Or the YB. So we're, we're going to run in silent stealth type mode. The shush mode. mode. Pardon. Pardon. Can we... When it, well, I, um, and she points to the big computer screen that says 85 is my microscope. I don't know what that alerted. I think we should, uh, yeah, I think we should go in uh, openly. We don't have to directly communicate. We have the AI. Not, not you. The actual AI. It's an AI and not a person who was an AI. Um, so yeah, we could we could just have him communicate with the vest, right? Uh, no, it's like I I mean versus orbital authority, but okay. Oh yeah, I mean versus too. We could announce our presence to them. They shouldn't be a problem, should they? And she's like, it, she oh. starts. She starts like like her two index fingers are starting to like rotate around each other in front of her, and she's like. It's just protocol when you go to a, a new planet and they don't shoot you out of the sky. Hmm, yeah. Perhaps the orbital authority is perhaps not the risk. We might have to land on one of the old, the old docks. And well, let's not... Let's not do that. Let's not discuss with the risk if we can avoid it, I guess, but not discuss, communicate with the risk if we can avoid it, but we, we can... There's no reason to try and hide from the orbital authority. I'm... I would and not. Here I'm going to speak to the stewards, so. I would not. We look really vesk, though. From the outside. Uh, sure. Aren't they. pretty used to vesk at this point, though? But also not. What would they say we're here for? Hmm. Business? I think Alice just stares in between the two of you. Like, not we like looking at. Sure. That's, um. That's like, we're a drop ship. Transport. Yeah. All Vesk ships are warships. I don't actually know why I'm saying this to a Vesk war hero. She <laughs> motions at you and she says, I, uh, yeah, it, like, You're not wrong. Like, n none of them said ice cream truck. So, if I say hi, we're here on business, they'll be like, What business? And I'll be like, Vesk business, and then they'll be like, what Vesk business report to these Vesk people for clearance? And then I'll be like, I don't want to, and then they'll be like, what? Who? Who is this? Hmm. Zora. I, uh... just go to the Vesk. I could just not message anyone also, and see if they find us. She kind of shrugs. Ah, uh, we need to find a landing spot though. We can't exactly land in the desert again. Yeah, unnecessary risk also. Um... Let's just... I'm here in steward business. Do you want a phone? Perhaps might be a good idea. It probably clearance. Yeah. Probably would be. I don't know how much we may want to draw attention to that, but uh... she just goes and sits back in like the kind of you know omni station that she built herself, 
and she just kind of like pivots the chair around so her back's to like the front of the ship and she's just looking at the two of you and she's like well I think we just established I won't speak to anyone so just gives a thumbs up I can not get any contact details with her back maybe you can contact them directly I mean the ship's comm should be in range wouldn't be eager to do that Keep it, just keep it so. CC, is that an option? And he like peeks out from behind Zora's leg and looks up at you. And then he uh, tugs at the gun Zora's holding. It's fine, CC, she's not going to shoot anybody. Is that right? Alice. <laughs> Alice is just sat in her chair, like with her kind of legs crossed, being like, "What?" Yeah, you see, she's not going to shoot anybody. On the other anyway. I think she just smiles and finger guns CC, which is probably not the best thing to do, but it is so Alice. <laughs> really is. Uh, I mean, I think he just starts like tugging at the gun more when she does that. It's um, a sign of endearment, CC. It's fine. If I contact Babak, say that's an option, I don't know how easy it would be to get through him directly. Um, they don't generally just give you a straight line to the commanding officers. It tends to be a little more uh, circumspect than that, so... But I'm sure CC could figure something out. If we can do that... CC's nodding while it's kind of swinging from the gun. Excellent. Um, we can do that on the down low. We can let the stewards request clearance for us. Or would that seem strange? Would that draw attention? Um, I mean, Hurstling over. Contact in the vest. <laughs> Alice leans over and just kind of like looks at some of the displays she's got and then kind of looks back and she says We should be okay but somebody might eventually spot us so I feel yeah. like perhaps Whatever we do we better just do it we could perhaps contact Vesk and Sailor and Sidim Star business. They might not ask too many questions because of that. But it's going to be hard to be not. They recognize you. Yeah. You were Obsidian uh, Star, though. I was, yeah, but I mean, I'm probably famously not Obsidian Star now. <laughs> yeah, but is this like the, you know, Every single member of the Romulans is secretly tell Shiar whether they realise it or not. Like maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it could be. The, I mean, common grunts might not know the whole story. They might just not be any yeah. other wells really. Like probably not even. Like they would probably just take it for granted to show my badge, show them a ship, and they'd be like, "Ah, he's obviously that." Like, Looks like it. <laughs> and keep in mind, the ship isn't necessarily obviously Obsidian Star if you don't want it to be, right? Like you know, yeah. they can pass I for just generic uh, best ships. I think that's probably the biggest badge they flash to make them not ask questions. They just leave me alone. Just you depends know. if you want to draw attention to Matva. Yeah, that's the main problem. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, and that's the main problem. So that's, I was going to say, like so... One. If I could pass off as another vest, it would be fine. I think here's the options then, right, if we list them, right? You've got... Use Zora's connections to either the Vesk or the Obsidian Star, which either draws attention to... You, it basically means Domogesh will find out you're there if you use the Vesk connections, or you'll draw attention to the Obsidian Star if you use that, right? Then you've got Lyco's connections with the Stewards and Babak, and the same with that. If you tried to privately contact them, though, maybe Babak could say, you know, like, oh, this is a transport ship for some bizarre reason, right? Could be, I think. I um, could maybe just slip as a dock in yard and be like, ah, this is for... Uh, for reasons, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like uh, just, uh, just to can get still Yeah, if, what if I'm it's thinking out of character is like if if Babak, you know, reports that for steward, you know, purposes, there's going to be a ship that appears to be up, you know, um, yeah. then that. That was kind of probably perfect. stops too many questions being asked, so maybe that's the right approach to go with. If only you had traded shuttles, actually. I, you know what? I initially had been very much on the other side, but I sort of flipped, and I regret having done so because maybe if they'd been in a more robust ship, weird wouldn't have just. No, so I don't. No, I don't mean ships. I mean shuttles specifically. Shuttles are the big cool ad, yeah, because it's a lot less conspicuous show than it is. Yeah, you true. Know, like, if we could just fly in shot, would it be like, yeah, well, it's a serial little trad? What shuttle? Hello, mm -hmm. sirs. Yeah, here's my luxury <laughs> yacht shuttle, yes. Yeah. Um, um, you know what, I'm just going to reiterate to CC. Okay, I've got some details flipping through, I calm. Mm -hmm. See if you can put me on to him discreetly. I don't want anyone. I think uh, CC hanging from the gun looks up at Zora and looks at the gun and looks up at Zora and just stares at you for a couple of seconds then Zora I'll just keep the gun back yeah, I think he just falls on his ass when you let go of the gun <laughs> and then he kind of like gets up and just puts it in his bag looks over at Alice zips the bag up and then runs over to the uh, the seat that he's built himself you know the interface and he just starts like Bringing up Babak's contact details. Okay. And he points at them. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's. that all checks out. He does like a phone symbol with one of his hands up to his face. Does he get this shit. You <laughs> I mean, let's flash back to when you gave him full access to your comm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Way back uh, when Castreville. Not necessarily the greatest decision Lyco has ever made, but it definitely meant this scene was easier for him. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, um... How do you... How do you contact people on this thing? How... Standing in front of, like, the, the, the control panel, just scratching my chin. <laughs> CC so just uh, looks up at you and starts scratching his chin with one of his free hands, and then, uh... It is still holding one of his hands up like a phone to his ear. Um, it's your calm. Right. Oh, uh, calm. Right. <laughs> he starts nodding and gives a thumbs up to the captain. I I sort of hold it towards him, questioningly. What, to Cece? Yeah. Mind we are technically on the planet. Cece, um, Cece puts phone his hand out. I, I will I'll give him that. Yep, so he takes your calm. Uh, he then like turns round and hits call and uh, you see like the like the satellite network little bouncing between the signals etc um, makes a smiley face and then beams down to the the planet surface and then uh, you hear a, a kind of comm connection crackle a bit and then it comes on and it says Commander Babak speaking and then uh, CC holds up the comm to his mouth and just goes <laughs> Uh, hold the, what, what, one second. <laughs> uh, can I have that back? Thank you. Um, and then oh, he kind of okay. like starts climbing over the control panel and climbing down the back end of it with the comb. I I uh, I will go up and take it off him if I have to. Yeah, you can uh, yeah. try and manhandle him to get it. CC, please. That's who is that's this? Uh, apologies. Uh, one second. I. Uh, there's a bit of an issue on my end. Um, How did you get this secure line? <laughs> uh, you may have given me it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. Apologies. Uh, Quint. Bye -bye. Yes, this is this is like a Quint. I uh, I wanted to request uh some assistance. Um. I am currently in orbit in a ship belonging to my captain, uh, Zora. Uh, I'm sure you are aware is Vesk, and his uh, current vessel is quite conspicuous, and I uh, hoped you might be able to arrange discreet docking. What kind of vessel are we talking about, Quint? Also, is that a skittermender I heard? 
It is. I'm sure there's a reason for that, but I'm sure that's uh, not <laughs> why you're calling. No, uh, no, it's it is not. It's it's regarding um, our previous conversation. Um, obviously, uh, I would prefer to continue that in person if possible. Um, Luckily for you, certain elements of the Vesk military are no longer present on Versus, given your last visit. Yeah, that was uh, brought to our attention. I, um... Is that you're doing, though? You hear the eyebrow raise over the comm. Ha! <laughs> no, no, that was, um... A third party that... Well... We'll discuss... We'll discuss that further when we don't have to worry about the possibility of interception. Better... Think of better words. yet, why don't I come to you? Okay. That way you don't have to make planet fall. If that's suitable to you. Yes, I think I'll go outside for some air. Send me your coordinates. I will be there shortly. Okay. See you shortly. He disconnects the, the call. Hmm. CC that peeks out from behind the, co the console. Thank you for the assistance with the connection. I don't know why you decided to shout down the phone at him, but... <laughs> he just pick, um, makes a phone symbol and puts it to his ear. Do you, do you want the calm again? He puts his hand out. Uh, sure. Please tell me you're going to securely send them those coordinates. He kind of looks up at you, white eyes, and slowly nods. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I got to do. He starts like pressing buttons as he's climbing over the console, but still just looking at you like. Oh. CC, what? He starts to just like tuck in the comb into his outfit. DC, <laughs> come here. <laughs> yeah, he kind of like hides where your feet go under the console. CC, give him the comb back. Come on. I think Alice is just here being like. Wonder why we weren't supposed to land. Good question. Not. She kind of laughs a bit to herself. Because, funny thought. Imagine you shot us out of the sky. Funny thought. That's a lot less funny than it is uh, alarming. Let's just move a little. Within sense of range, still. It's not a bad idea. Assuming those coordinates have been sent, he'll, he doesn't need the exact ones, he'll see us, you know? Um, not. A small error, however, might be enough to screw up some targeting. Uh, I think CC throws your comm across the room. CC! Uh, thanks. I, 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 <laughs> I saw her over to briskly. Yeah. I think he uh, climbs back up in the chair and just starts tapping some buttons on his con I console. I my messages to see if, if, if anything's been sent from it. I know nothing from your comm. No, it seems like nothing's been done other than it's maybe, you know, he's maybe I navigated would, randomly into menus because of, you know, grip. Yeah. I will send the uh, coordinates then. Um. Yeah, cool. Send them off to Babak. Okay. Let's right. move a couple of degrees. <laughs> Alice? Alice just kind of pivots round and, uh, you know, brings the ship engines online and uh, starts, like, manoeuvring. Doesn't have to be very far at all, but... God, you're paranoid, you know that? 
Now you're making me paranoid. No, uh, she's paranoid trying to point at you and says, No, no, no. You were the paranoid one and you taught me how to be paranoid. So if anything, this is your fault. I was kind of nod at this. See, <laughs> CC points at everybody. Um, but it's a good paranoia and I appreciate it. Be safe and sorry. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I, I agree it was weird how eager he was to come and meet us. But I suspect there's something going on in the ground that we don't know about. Which Sh might... Sorry. Alice just kind of nods. I was like, there usually is. I don't look at the ground a lot. It might make uh, retrieving our ooze a little bit more difficult. Hmm. I think CC just starts making cube shapes with his hands. We might be able to. Hmm. I wonder. Can we uh? We run a more general sort of scan on the um. On the car hole, or at least its local area. I think um. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, raises an eyebrow, and says, "I'm thinking." Sorry. For what? Uh. Yeah, not exactly sure. Um, like I say, uh, just scan for really anything we can think of. I'm sus I'm not suspecting it, but I'm I'm wondering if that sitting unoccupied all this time might not be a uh, might not be a nice opportunity for someone to uh, set up an ambush, a trap. Babak isn't eager to meet us on world, that might be an indication that he knows someone else is. Again, this is just worst case scenario, you know. Hmm. It's the eighty five percent that bothers me. You just hear because... like a yelp from a like one yelp from C C yeah. that. Because why is it not a hundred? That's what I don't get. Is it just because of the limitations of scanner tech? If so, fair enough. But... I don't know. It feels like maybe there's interference or something. Hmm. So, here is a thing that you can have uh, as a piece of information. Let's put this actually in the rules, shall we? Since it is a rule. Unlike the pigeon. The reason I typed about the pigeon, by the way, is because I'd muted my microphone for a while while I wasn't speaking because the pigeon was really fucking loud. That's okay. So, this ship has basic long-range sensors. And that's what you can do with sensors. Okay. <sighs> that maybe explains why you've got an 85% match. <laughs> You've got active and passive modes as well. Yeah. Basic, yeah, basic information. So it's. Mm -hmm. and then, da, da, da. Yeah, and from what you could have seen with the way CC built the interface, ended it was like basically glancing at it. He basically tapped into like the surveillance of a uh, versus mm. to try and find cube-shaped things. Okay, so it may have been like it was a visual match. It's something that could, you know, be quite easily filled if it was a, you know. Let's hope they're not into cubism as an art form, and versus otherwise, yeah. Or vorticism. Mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That's another. Sort of There's a lot of enunciation in that that's very important for it to not be confused with horrible other things. Um, but yes, vorticism. So yes. uh, vorticism. Thankfully, uh, I have such, you know. 
I can't remember the term that I was going to use. Articulation? <laughs> no, it was, it was a specific word that I was going to use as a sort of um, pre-modification for that. Okay, okay. Right, anyway, so back to the sensors question. What do you want to do with sensors? Centurion. There we go. Um, yeah, so the sensors, that, uh, that, I mean, that's like, I, I wonder... Great, DC is usually 15. Okay. Surrounding areas. Now, you say surrounding areas. That sounds like it's like the immediate environment. Yeah. Well, so the part I never, I shared is the fact that it goes to about two hundred and fifty feet on most planets. Um, f like if you're in atmosphere, because it's limited by like terrain and shit like that. Okay. So yeah. So is that? Are we in a place then that we would be able to attempt to scan of a specific? Well, these are in orbit, right? Yeah, so we should be. Okay. It's not right. You can definitely scan the surface, but it's just what you are expecting to get, detail-wise. Like you might want to be. Um, yeah, right. I'm somewhat vague on it. Um, you could probably like scan to see if there was like activity around car hole, right? Like yeah. people going in and out, but. You probably couldn't tell much beyond that. Like, I doubt you'd be able to tell if Ivan was inside, right? From orbit. Sadly, it's not quite Trek where you could just scan for a target lock and beam people aboard. Yeah. Um, it's actually easier to send one of your crew down as a teleporter, grab somebody and teleport back up, or be a space druid and have a plant of the same kind on a ship and the base. I will, um. <laughs> You know what? I I will Lyco will uh, attempt the uh, the scanning, and okay. he'll build just scan for activity. See, he just stares at you as you get closer to his console. <laughs> his console? Um, I mean, he sat at it. So he got to remodify yeah, it. Yeah. Um, can I just lean over him? I mean, probably easily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just have a quick check of something, and I will roll computers. That's good for me. Yeah, because there's a 30, right? Because you get the plus 2. Do I get plus 2 on top of that? Yeah, because the sensors give you plus 2. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about those. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry. I, I forgot about the sensors that we're using. Yes. Um, I forgot about their numerical bonus. Yeah. So, yeah, you get a 30 on that, and you're kind of just scanning the vicinity of the car hole. Yeah, it looks abandoned, from what you can tell in the snapshot that you've obviously taken. It doesn't look like there's um, road markings, like uh, tire tracks, doesn't look like there's people, doesn't... Yeah, just looks kind of why you've picked it. Yeah. Okay. It looks, um... looks abandoned, so... Obviously that doesn't rule anything out, but at the very least nothing seems to be going on there at the moment. Um, not that I was necessarily expecting it, but it's nice to know. Well, that being the case, I suppose we, we wait for Babak to hail us and we discuss matters further when we uh, have him here. Alice just kind of nods slowly and goes, I'll go get a gun. And then just like stands up and leaves the bridge. Don't you always have one? Yeah. Oh, so now the bazooka is a good idea. I'm not saying it's not on the ship. <laughs> and I thought Babak was coming to the ship. Um, just in case there might be a stray. No, she she's, not, she's not wrong. A, a, a gun's probably a better choice than a... She finger guns towards, say, uh, Yuliko, and then, like, motions to the captain, like, see? I would not. Yes. She salutes Although and leaves the bridge. <laughs> so uh, she heads away to go grab a gun. <laughs> CC um, opens his bag and takes his gun out and holds it. I personally am not gonna arm... well... 
I, I, pro I probably have like, started saying that and then realised I've like, got like two pistols on me. Mm -hmm. um, and your arms. Yeah. Actually, no, I don't think I have my pistols with me, do I? I think so. I don't know. I mean, do you always put your pistols in your holsters when you're not on the ship? I tend to, but like, I, I feel like at one point I took them off in the previous ship and I haven't used them in ages. That might just be because they don't exactly scale very well at the moment. Didn't you um, use pistols to shoot covering fire? Or was that just... That was the that... rifle. Right, okay, that was the rifle then. Hmm. Then maybe you don't have them then. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to say don't, because I haven't mentioned them and I haven't used them. So. But you were with the s kit when you were gearing up for the vault, because remember you were behind... Yeah, so that's true. So you, like the... you were in car hole with her, so it's not like you couldn't okay. have had them. I probably do have them then. Let's, yeah, let's but see. they could be in um, your... Remember you went and found a room to take, so yeah. they could be in there, because remember you usually plank guns around the place? So, uh -huh. yeah. so maybe they're in your quarters. I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say he probably has them in the room then. Yeah. Um, actually, looking at them, just looking at them now, they do scale reasonably well. Um, I mean, they're old man guns guns, right? Yeah, yeah. Um... So I will, uh, I will just, uh, you know what, I sort of, the reason he trails off during that comment is nothing to do with the guns, it's because he remembered that he has magic weapon arms, so there you go. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah. So I guess I'll leave it at that then. Yeah, like in a pinch you've got blades that come out of your yeah. arms, so yeah. Probably helps you feel a bit more secure. Yeah, and Zora... Zora's hands are also weapons. Zora's well, hands are weapons. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure he's probably always at least got his dash going. He's back as well, so he's symbolic. He probably just weapons. walks about with it. Not only that, though, right? But like, can't you blast people? No. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I can supernova like uh, twenty feet away from me. So like, yeah. Yeah. Like, so you're still, you're still. Is that a good idea in a small ship? You're still not. fucking Zorazilla. Remember. Um, with that power, um, I think yeah. Like, do you want to do anything specifically preparation-wise for Babak's arrival? Tell me this now before he arrives. I feel it. I feel it. No, I don't think I need to. I feel it. Yeah. I mean, I probably just go oh, as armed as I am. I, I feel like if he's coming on shuttle, he's being sincere. If there's a fucking missile flying at us at some point, then he's not late. So yeah, I'm seeing it. Cool. Cause we end up seeing like a flotilla, or then we might like start getting a wee bit worried. Yeah, Full like I feel like you'd hope CC would mention that, though, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'd keep. I would stay in the bridge and keep my eye on the sensors. I guess I like to stay where the sensors are, so mm -hmm. I can I can react accordingly. Yeah. Um, are you telling CC to do anything since that's like his console or? Yeah, I would tell CC to just keep his eye out. Scream at me if you see anything unordinary. He narrows his eyes and just looks at you. Like missiles or real guns. Please, you get what I mean. Sunday tries to blow at the sky. Please tell me. He cocks his gun. Yes. He just nods. Guess I would have just sit in the seat next to him. Is there a seat next to him? Yeah, because like, um... Like, imagine Alice's is, like, front and centre. Mm -hmm. And then his is, like, to the, the right of that. Cool. There's one to the left of that that I don't know what it does yet. Mostly because Alice has probably rewired it all to go to the centre one. Mm -hmm. It's possibly weapons, right? The one at the left. Um, I hope she's not rewired that. I don't know, maybe she's rewired it yet, so she can... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> 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 but the one you were saying that would be like Alice's console, if you will. And um, yeah, so you could imagine that she's possibly rigged it so that she can do what she has to as one person without running between three or however many consoles there were um, on this place. Because the bridge is pretty big, right? It is a big ship. Um, the Nora Kama dropship model, which is kind of funky. Um, a girl. But yes, so no preparation specifically other than keep an eye on the sensors. Yeah, yeah. Sounds, sounds wise. 
Okay, yeah. And I think um, obviously maybe like an hour passes and uh, the sensors start to ping and CC uh, just like kind of gets a bit more excitable and starts um, chirping at you, Zora. I would look kind of the way he's chirping a bit. And it is like, you know, some kind of shuttlecraft approaching. And he starts warming up the weapon systems. Nah, nah, don't shoot it out the sky. Like yeah, no, no need. We're expecting them. And I would, I guess, comma and tell it that the show is wrong. Can uh, maybe we verify what coordinates? There's um, no reply to the comm, but the ship is moving to the coordinates you give it. Let's get to the shuttle bay, I guess. Are we scream out to the shuttle bay, do we? Uh, yeah, CC. Yeah. Um, any hostility at all? Shoot them. If they don't do anything, no shooting. CC just looks at you. Picks its nose. <laughs> Ew. Ah. No shooting. <laughs> If they don't do it, let's go. <laughs> are you taking him with you or are you leaving on the bridge? I mean, he was, he's probably like... Well, I've got an idea to keep him away. He's like, going to leave this room and he's going to shoot him in the sky. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go to the shop, ACC. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use, use motions for you to pick him up again. I'll pick him up. And you, like as he climbs up to your back onto your like neck and shoulders, you, you feel the the gun clunk against your head as he's uh, obviously resting it on your head as he's holding on with his other arms. And then I'm like, can, can Finn control the guns? Finn, Finn flickers into existence and says, F "Captain, you require some assistance." Can you control the weaponry on the ship? If required. Keep an eye on that shuttle. If it does anything hostile, pull it out the sky. I believe you have given access to the shuttle bay. Am I to shoot ourselves, Captain? Um, not, uh, not ourselves, just the ship. Just the, just the, just the enemies that come out of it in harms. There are no weapons inside the ship. I mean that outside. I can control. I mean outside. But if the shuttle's on the inside, Captain, I don't think you understand we'll how the that. outside guns we'll, work. We'll, we'll handle Do the you outside. You handle the outside. <laughs> Excellent, Captain. He kind of just nods. <laughs> yes. Yes. To be clear, we're not actually necessarily expecting any trouble, but just in case. Just in case. I do ever so love back. clear orders, Captain. But not. I'm forgetting. Vesk. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while. Sorry. <laughs> my pleasure, Captain. Oh, God. Give him a vest salute, because he'd probably love that. I mean, he's a hologram. Like, <laughs> he'd love that, mate. He'd probably hey, just be like, yes. like hologram. He clearly has a personality. Yeah, uh, exactly. No, it's because, <laughs> I mean, Weird gave him a fucking, f like, you know, a, a good uh, recommendation for sarcasm. <laughs> that he that's read that instantly. For me to take a piss at okay, like you're that's... welcome. <laughs> and that's how but Finn man, would deliver it as I well. Don't I think. Go any better, all right? The only fucking like instances of AI and like androids I've got is weird than Buddy Alice, and both of them have turned like metamorphosized like fifteen <laughs> times. So like, it's no different to me, right? He's just like an eleven B to me at this point. Who knew the ooze would be the normal one, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the live? To be honest with you, at this standpoint, like the fact that I'm looking at AI and I think it's the live or something, he's got a fucking great man. <laughs> maybe it's just. For Vesk. I was gonna say <laughs> maybe there's hope for the Vesk because the thoughts there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think the the shuttle be, like in docks, uh, where like the Azure Flare shuttle would have been. Um, obviously, we have all those uh, the venting of a uh, various, you know special effects 
and then the shuttle bird doors crack open and we cut back to the other guys. Uh. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, imagine it was them walking out of the shuttle, being like, Don't land the ship! <laughs> so, um, yeah, you hit the emergency stop button, and I, I need everybody to roll reflex saves that is in the Azure Flare. And I'll just do some reflex saves of my own. A reflex. Wow. You did well. <laughs> so. I think everybody on the ship like gets volleyed around inside. Um, yeah, and Sonida had a really goddamn good bonus to this because she was sat in a chair. Um, but yeah, like Isabel's probably heading up towards the bridge and gets volleyed about. You guys are obviously maybe weren't expecting the, you know, the sudden stop, even though you're pushing the sudden stop button. Zeg, where would you have been? In the engine room with a uh, weird up um, heading yeah, towards I think the bridge. Yeah, just like um, stayed with weird, um, just just in case. But like, if something did happen, um, weird. You know how drift weirdness happens. Um, mm. I think it's best to be thrown into a different reality with your crewmate than it is to be thrown into a different reality by yourself. Yeah. Again. So yeah. So yeah, like I think um, quite clearly an emergency stop happens, right, physically to the ship. The entire ship kind of groans a bit uh, under the strain of that. Um, the inertial dampeners and such kind of kick in, normalise things. The light itself, um, lights flicker and whatnot and then settle. And then Sanida comes over the comms, says... What was that? Hold on to something. I'm pressing the emergency stop button. I there, pressed it. There's like, just like the static crackle of comms, because she hasn't let go of the button. And you hear the sigh. Perhaps next time, you could push the button after the warning. Fit for Sorry. thought. That's it. I... It's okay. I'm sure whatever um, internal injuries I have will recover in time. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I had some knowledge it was going to happen. How is everyone else? I'll look down at Zig. Yep. Everyone oh. else is fine. Unbalanced. <laughs> Unbalanced. There's probably a drill stuck into the wall next to Zig. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning round and round. Yeah. Having a time of its life. And uh, <laughs> over the comms, you just hear Isabel's voice, like, coughing as if she's catching her breath, going, I was on stairs. Oh. Stairs. And oh. was. Why? Well, we needed to stop. Yes, you do. Yep. So I did. Yeah, there's no reply from her. And um, so then, then, then we couldn't have. Uh, I don't think we could have waited much longer. So. No. Nope. And then I guess he picks himself up from the floor and kind of dusts himself off. It's an idea, on the bright so. side, yep. I, I, I gave us 50-50 odds that we'd rematerialize in the sun anyway. So the fact that we haven't is uh, doing yeah, pretty well. You should all come to the bridge now. Ah. Well, we'll find out. Then we'll walk to the bridge. Mm-hmm. Zig, you heading with him? I think I think Zig um, maybe has like weird passes. He takes his his usual spot. Climb up his back. Yep. And uh, <laughs> we just have you guys like leave the trashed engine room with this drill spinning in the wall, and uh, we find you uh, walking past SK as she's picking herself up, or Isabella I should say, she's picking herself up, and uh, like the side of her head's all bleeding. 
Um, there's like a dent in the wall, where clearly she has like fell into it. And uh, I will inspect the dent in the wall and say, "Ooh, I hope the damage isn't too bad." She kind of just looks you up <gasps> and down as she's like got like a like a med pack thing under her arm, and she's like, you know, doing that thing where she's trying to balance it and open it at the same time. And she's like, it could be worse. She just looks you up and down. <laughs> um, and then uh, he's all headed to the bridge. Yeah. And Sinai just, just he looks at it every day and she's like, so this does not look what I would call normal. And uh, you look out the window, and it's all. I want to say, oil spill, kaleidoscope, acid trip. Yeah, They're my favorite band. I've got that. Mm -hmm. So, it's not the blue waves of drift. It's some weird, multicolored nightmare. So, Starfinder mishaps now in Technicolor would be the. Uh, <laughs> I might just put that in our chat. Now in Technicolor. <laughs> now in Edgar Color. Welcome to Drift 2.0. So, um. Yeah. That bugged me when I was writing Technicolor there because I realised that it's probably spelled the American spelling. Yeah. But, oh well. So, yeah, then I just points because. I mean, it looks prettier. But wasn't it blue before? Mm. And she starts like just kind of like biting on one of her like her, her nails, her sharp nails. What does oh. the computer say? Are we still in drift? Uh, the clock stopped. Okay. Yeah. Should we turn this around? Chill, like Snyder looks at you. I think at that point maybe Isabel walks in. Having space bandage to her head up. Probably just looks like some kind of silver spray paint, right? <laughs> some kind of Valhalla based nonsense. Isabel, do you understand what's happening here? And she kind of like looks outside and she says, Oh. Oh? What did you do? And she turns to a <laughs> weird. Press stop. This isn't drift space. Okay. What is it? Theoretical. Can you be more specific? She looks at you with like a look of frustration, but it's definitely not like frustration at you. You can tell it's like, you know, frustration with herself almost. She says, no, actually, I can't be more specific. Nail it. And she like, walks up to like the console and kind of, like, does that thing where she tries to angle herself around the view screen so you can see more. Mm. It looks... more tangible than just theory. Zyda just says, well, I'm open to ideas. Um, yes. And just kind of like nods in the captain's chair. How about we turn the engine back on? You just hear like, 
Isabel makes a noise, right, but she's still looking outside at everything. But she definitely makes a noise like she has reacted to you saying that. Um, but she's not saying anything. I think Tanaya just says, Well, if we're stuck here, it's... Actually, and then she like gets up and like runs out of the uh, the bridge. Well, that was helpful. I'm going to sit in the captain's seat. <laughs> I'll yep. go see what actually means, and then runs out. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah, I think Isabel just sits in like the like in the pilot seat and pivots round and then just looks at you and has like the finger pyramids under her chin and she's like okay so if we're not in drift space anymore but we're somewhere that you could drop into from drift space how do we plot our way back if we don't know where we are and she points at you with her like finger pyramid go uh, we could ask one of the locals. She kind of turns back and looks at the kaleidoscope of colour. We could. Do you speak? And she motions out the window. That? Not yet. Okay, that's positive. I like it. I mean... Even drift space has intelligence is living within it, uh, and perhaps this is a space between dimensions. I've met people from who have traversed that uh, person. Uh, really? Yeah. Well. She says, like, really? Like, as if she took her a couple of seconds to process what you were saying? I am... Um, yes. Uh, he must have done it somehow. This might be how he did it. In which case... Go us. Uh, Is that a good thing? Well, it's helpful if you want to escape a dying universe. But... Uh, she has a look that crosses her face like she has 20 million questions and doesn't know what one to pick. Um, and she, she kind of shakes her head as if to try and refocus. And she says... And she starts like prodding at her silver spray painted plaster. And she says... Uh, okay, I'm going to assume I'm just unconscious at the bottom of the stairs. One of you will find me. I will be put in some kind of med bay. This will patch me up. I'll wake up, and we'll be docked at the sun. You know that's not how this works. She starts shaking her head like, nope, it's fine. I'm clearly, clearly just unconscious. And this Denial is so isn't a good look for you. And she opens her eyes, and she looks at you and she says, It's hard to imagine you can see a good look for me. Why? I've got eyes. Yes. You do. And she just stares at you. Should we get back to the uh, interdimensional jumping and figure that problem out? Or do you want to go and find somewhere to lay down? Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I'll help until I pass out, and then you find a comfy place to drag me to, ideally as carefully as possible, until I wake up. Deal? Dragging your body around is one of the things I do best? Sure. Sure. And she pivots to your background and starts bringing up like diagnostic screens. Uh, we go to Zig. Uh, yeah, if you're following Thanida. I, yeah. She's just making her way down to the swimming pool. I guess he just he follows in. Um, 
Yeah, so like she like heads through like big kind of double door things into the, the swimming area, and the like the pool has a like kind of gravity field that goes over the surface, a very thin one that is to kind of stop you know a lot of problems like the movie Passengers from happening. So uh-huh. uh, that didn't work though when you dropped out of dressy, so the entire room soaked. I am. Um, as the water is oh, okay. pouring itself back in, but she just kind of like stands at the edge of the pool and stares into like you know, you can imagine a kaleidoscope of different coloured light coming through mm-hmm. water, right? Which probably looks even more majestic, quite frankly. And she just stares right. at that. It's like, I think, yeah, I think it kind of goes up to the side of the pool, maybe to where like the wee steps might be, mm-hmm. yeah, or the ladder or whatever. And uh, it's like big, it's almost like steps that kind of. You know, yeah. they semi-circled their way into the, the pool from the doors in, so you could just walk straight from the doors down into the pool. Uh, I think it does that and kind of, like, just looks down through the, the, the glass, I guess. Um, kind of also staring at the mad kaleidoscope of dreams. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he'd look up and say, So... Any thoughts? I have um, never seen something quite so beautiful, have you? And I think we have that, like, this is from Zig's point of view, the queen cast with all these beautiful rainbow lights around her. I think Zig maybe like cocks his head to the side and goes, hmm. Maybe not. And then looks back down at the sort of mad colour rainbow void. I don't know. Um, outside. And just says, I mean, it has to be somewhere. It's here. And we're here. So... Do we explore here, or do we try and leave here? Hmm. That is a good question. Depends how... different here is. Is time the same here? Or we... I don't know. I don't know why. Well, matter must function similarly, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. Unless the ship's protecting us, in which case we're probably limited by the power of the external shields, which would be Mm. very problematic. Very, very. She looks confused as she looks at you. She's like, waves vaguely at her head. Some things are easier to understand than others. Hmm. We could um, well, go explore. I mean, we'd be safe enough in the, the shuttle, right? She just shrugs. Who knows? I don't think I fancy taking a walk outside. Not yet, at least. Hmm. I haven't seen any paths yet. And she just smiles at you. I think it just kind of smiles and goes, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, right, the probability we should possibly be inside of the sun. Something tells me it's a bit different than, uh, no, it's a bit different than what I thought it would be. <laughs> that's the case. Someone tells me that's not where we are. Well, if I remember correctly, which is possibly questionable at this stage, the the sun she kind of like shakes her as if she's really trying to like think about this. She goes, I'm sure back when I was queen 
people were convinced it had something to do with demons. And unless this is a hell... She looks back at the pretty lights and vaguely gestures it. I don't think we're in the sun. But... She shrugs again. I don't know. I feel like people were trying to tell me that the sun was dangerous. Beyond being a big giant ball of fire. Hmm. I'm just... I'm unsure. I think there's a lot how of that going back? around. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, how far back did the timer go? What? How far back did the timer go? The, the drift... timer thing, it went into... To Minus numbers. Um, it took you like an hour and a bit to do repairs. To air quotes repairs. So, um, just kind of shrugs. I think he he kind of gets out the pole and I think he like comes the bridge, I guess. Mm -hmm. <coughs> or weird, personally, whatever. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Go. <laughs> That's him decking this kid's <laughs> head off the console. <laughs> it's like, oh no. She's passed out again. <laughs> um, would you be able to work out where we should have ended up from the difference between zero and whatever number the counter went to if we were travelling at the same speed? I'm shout character Ryan. I'm assuming that's a no because of how drift works. Yeah, like yeah. There's you probably should. somebody somewhere that can give mm -hmm. you like what they think would be the answer to that, but I don't think it's MD scene. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think that'd be the answer of uh, Zig. That's not how drift works. It's far more probabilistic and uh, complicated than that. Hmm. But you're also complicated. Thank you. Like that. So... Hmm. Two seconds, BRB. <laughs> and then he, like, I don't know, fits, fits, fits the common hold. Okay. Uh, and then he like runs back into the pool and looks at Thanida and says Do you see any sort of light source anywhere? She points out the and window then and then she says No, it's more like a gas cloud. Right? Mm. Or an area. She gestures vaguely with both hands. And then he, you know, puts weird off hold and he asks the same question, essentially. So what was that question? Do you, do you see any sort of light source, like a, a, a star or a anything, or... To go around? No, like again, no. it kind of looks like this place is. Um, well, you could be in a glow stick for all you know, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's it's hard to tell. It seems like the light you're in, whatever's emitting the light. So it could be a gas that's reacting to give off. Yeah. Be a champagne supernova. Yeah, it could be indeed. Yeah. And um, oh, I don't want to do that. Mind link with the gas cloud. No. Mind link with the. G no. <laughs> I guess. I guess. We have sent our embassy that. out to you. Um, <laughs> Not the ambassador, the, the embassy. Yeah, the first, the first um, step to that would be to detect magic. Mm -hmm. um, so he will boot that. I think he'll kind of put the calm down. Um, 
leaving weird off hold. Okay. Maybe okay. on speaker. Okay. Just this through the kind of cross legged. Um, and kind of, you know, does his boop to boop. Okay. Obviously, Sanida. Obviously. Yes. Um, glorious as she is. And, um, yeah. I mean, the entire outside's magical as fuck. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. And I think Zig says that. Mm -hmm. Just out loud to everyone. Man. This place is just magic. Pure magic. Pure magic, by the way. Um. I think Tanida says, "Okay." As she kind of turns around and sees you, like in detect magic mode, and maybe like isn't necessarily accustomed to that, and uh, so it shakes that kind of slight shock out of her, and she says, "So, we're not where we're supposed to be. We might be in the sun. We might not be. We might be in some deeper drift, or chucked out of drift somewhere." else. So, we know it's magical. It's all magic. It's it's the, the whole, the, the place itself. It's, this is magic. What? And I think maybe he opens his eyes there and like, yeah. kind of stands up. I think she, um, I think she just sits at the edge of the pool with her feet in the water. Because I don't know if she really knows what else she can contribute. And she says, right, well, could we, and hear me out, could we just leave the egg here, regardless of if we get out or not? And she just kind of shrugs. Music. Um. I think Zig looks down at his calm on the floor. <laughs> we have no idea who else has access to this area. But no. I mean, if we can get here. And then shrugs. Isabel looks kind of. at you, weird. As if it's not the worst idea. But then. she says. We don't know how we got here, but yes, we don't know who else can get wherever we are. Or if we can get anywhere else from here. If this is a different plane of existence, who's to say the drift engine will pull us? into drift space from here. Um, I think I have to go and do a whole bunch of maths. And I think I need to lie down first before I do that. Maybe a prayer too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two. I think she was like a hand on your shoulder and stands up from the console. And she says, I'll be somewhere that has a horizontal surface. Give me a couple of hours. Good luck. You too. And she kind of waves vaguely over her shoulder as she um, stumbles out of the, the bridge and heads to, like, possibly the jazz bar. <laughs> and, eh... Uh, Sonida looks over at you. It's like... It's just, it's just a thought. Hmm... I think, um, um, would I be able to, like, discern, um, it's a good word already, I'm liking it. If the, the sort of, like, the, the space that we're in, um, like the, the like, the magic is, how do, how do I word what I'm trying to say in my head? God damn it, right? <laughs> hey, it's difficult enough for me, right? I made up this bullshit. Um, okay, yeah. So, like, basically, right, I'm just going to use dumb words. Um, I'm going to try and discern if 
one, um, it's the that the actual magic outside is of like, like if you, if it was like good magic or bad magic. I don't want to say those words, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, I'd, like like if it was if it was like the like a harmful kind of like this is magic that kind of pulls things in and kind of slowly destroys them or whatever or if it's just kind of like this is just magic in its rawest form flowing around in the mystical universe of wherever this is right so you're you're wanting to try and discern the function of the magic yeah. is really what you're trying to look for yes i think um right okay so can I sense motive on the <laughs> Um Give me a miss, this is a man sense motive then. Oh, okay. Shaboom. And this is going to be less good. So, you can't tell beyond the fact that it's a massive magical thing, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot tell because maybe Tanida has a point. Maybe you need to be in it. And maybe the, the ship is doing something to, like, you know, mm -hmm. affect your connection to it. Whether or not that's a good idea is, yeah. um, yeah. Um, okay. Then, w would I be able to tell if we came here or it took us here? No, I have no idea how you would tell that. Okay, that's fine. It's not like, you know, there is like an exit and entrance, like big sign, and user sat, mm -hmm. you know. Like, even then you wouldn't know because you could have walked through the door or somebody could have pushed you through the door, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a very, um, it's an interesting question, but I don't know how you would, uh... Yeah, so I'm going to... If you can work out how you could get that information, I could answer, right? But I don't yeah. know how you could do that. Um necessarily Any yep, ideas? Uh, I think, <laughs> yeah I think he actually probably like thinks that in his head like there must be a way to there must be some kind of way out of here there must be some kind of way out of here said the the rat man to, to the, the sparkly void um, <laughs> and I think he picks up his comb off the floor and um wanders up and like I don't know maybe just heads not around the whole ship but like maybe like um, just here and there and then to the engine room eventually I think yeah um. maybe forgetting to hang up on weird as well so. you hear all the footsteps along the way yeah um, yeah I think Thida just follows you with a uh, and the three of you maybe sync back up. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? Tonight it says. I'm unsure. Perhaps. Perhaps the engine can tell us something. Maybe I don't know. I wish I was more technically minded. Hmm. Do we still have CC's thing, the blender bot? Uh, Isabel sat it back in the shuttle bay, but yeah. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't have put it back I in the shuttle. Yeah, of course she did. Why wouldn't you have, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't see why. You, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't have put it back, right? I don't think she would have cared enough to fight you on it, just other than the that's a bad idea breaking the scorpion. Um, yeah. It's the scorpion that brought us here. <laughs> <laughs> the blender bot. Can I basically rig that up as some sort of probe to send outside? I, what are you going to cannibalise? What system of the ship? Because you'd probably have to wreck your sensors to do that. I'm just going to go for the, uh, the damage control panel from the engine room. Tear upon that stupid diagnostic panel. 
I don't think that's got enough components to actually be able to like And the bartender. Be a probe. I mean poor Cecil. Um no. I feel like you could just plug him into an extension cord and put him outside, right? Okay. Excellent. That's my plan. I tie a rope around Cecil and chuck him out the window. Right, okay. I think <laughs> I think Sanida I feel like Sanida is against this plan because I feel like you are as not only that, the right, but like let's look at it from a moral point of view. If you're telling her you're alive, she sees that as alive, right? Yep, like that. So, yeah, she might have an issue with that instinctively. I don't know how she'd vocalize that other than just um, cracking a radiation pill and huffing it and hulking out. But yeah, I feel like most of it just be. Let's not commit some kind of murder, shall we? To say hello. Let's try uh -huh. any other option first. And she looks at Cecil, who just looks slightly terrified at everybody, as we've, we're in the cocktail fucking bar. I don't think he passed the Turing test. He tuts in French. <laughs> Uh, le tut. <laughs> I was gonna try and do that. <laughs> I don't know what that was gonna sound like. Le tut. <laughs> le tut. Um, yes. We have a shuttle here, don't we? Yes, you do. Cool, I'm gonna go and tear the sensors off that then. And stick on the scorpion. <laughs> I think, um, Claire just follows you to see where you go, and when you go to like the shuttle bay, and she says, Perhaps we should just use the shuttle as the probe. Can't you rig that to be remote controlled? I was hoping to send out something that we didn't mind losing. She just kind of like blinks for a second, thinking about all the crew members currently, and then says, I... I'm not eager to throw my life away, given that I have only recently got it back for a second time. Mm -hmm. However... It's a... big, pretty light show. How much do you know about fishing? Not much. It's woefully inefficient as a hunting mechanism. So, some fish use lights to attract food. Mm -hmm. I think I'm saying I don't want to go outside. Okay, uh, hold on, let me I just did, quickly did. read something. <laughs> Before she jumps outside. No, she's saying that she doesn't want to go outside. I oh, sorry, know. I missed the dozen. Yeah. Right, she's basically saying that she thinks this might be some big thing making it look pretty, so we'll go outside and it'll eat us. That's why we're sending out the scorpion probe. And she looks at it. She goes, I have no strong feelings to this either way. I did watch it make a smoothie once, but I think that was before it could walk. Well, do you have any other plans? Because no good ones. Excellent. Doesn't mean your plan's good. Two winks at you. I feel like it's a better plan at the moment. At least it gives us half a chance of getting some information. Can you perhaps do this in a way that is temporary to the shuttle? Of we, course. We may need the shuttle, depending on what uh, happens to the ship. Absolutely. <laughs> is that true? Do you believe that? Everything is temporary, Brian. Everything is temporary. Right, you know what? Fine. Fuck it. Why not? Um, <laughs> sure. He says, yeah, looking like at it. session 60. <laughs> 
we could all go outside. So I could put us all in a life bubble. Why all of us? I don't know because I, I can do. I can I can make a bubble big enough for all of us. Is basically what my. Alex, I just <laughs> looks like all individual bubbles. That is just looks at you and says, "I'd have to stay inside to work the button for the door." Also, we don't know what sort of radiation is out up out there. I definitely do not want to go out there to experience no, that. Although maybe it's good for me this radiation as opposed to Daza's radiation. Ah yes, that positive radiation. Yeah. That it's good for the skin. What's wrong with my skin? Nothing. Chicken articles, yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> What's wrong with my skin, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't heat positive radiation? <laughs> it depends how much of it. And there from the sun, which is hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Something about Prometheus. Mm -hmm. Oh, good film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 the wrong mm. Prometheus was tortured for eternity. Much like Colin's review of that movie. Look at all the bait I'm not taking. Yeah, but I was talking about how Batman beats up poor people. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah. What is the plan then? Zig, you wanted to jump out there? I think Tanaida just walk, walk, walks up behind Zig and just like puts her arms like around the big like, shoulders and clasps him like just under his chin. It's like we should possibly try the probe first. See what happens. If not, then yeah, she's definitely not hiding the protective vibe she's got right now. Probe it is then. Hmm. And um, she looks around. Goes, what of Isabel? We probably shouldn't throw her out. Not yet, at least. And she winks at you. Uh, can you check that she's not dead? She kind of like blinks a couple of times, and then goes to the comms panel, brings up like a whole display, and just starts flicking through surveillance cameras. And Caesar KO'd on like a couch. He stares at it really hard. It looks like she's breathing. I still feel like you should go and check on her. I think what you're saying is you'd like privacy to discuss things with Zig in this room without me hearing you. No, I just don't want to be the one to handle this well. She raises an eyebrow. Zig, would you be a darling and check on dear Isabel? I think he just... I think he takes a moment, kind of looks around and just, I guess, nods and walks out. And then... Praying that he knows the way to go. Yeah, like it's just back to like the kind of the... the like the recreational area, right? Yeah. Well, like you can project the different images over. The jazz bar, as it was called. Yes. So, yeah, yeah it's the jazz bar. To make sure. Yeah. It's still there. Do you want to give me some kind of medicine roll? Sure. How about I roll you a medicine? Mm, that would be medicine. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, She died. No. Main of teen. I mean, she's she's breathing, right? So there, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what you get. Well, it's reasonable. Dead. And I guess he kind of just sits there and maybe kind of sits like on the floor with his back to the couch. Mm -hmm. Um, like periodic, 
hopefully okay. looking over maybe if like there's like a lull in the like the sound of breathing like look up and make sure she's still breathing I think after a couple of seconds or like whatever of you having just like sat there and checked her out and stuff I think they're saying the calm clicks on this and what of Isabel? she lives and then Sonida kind of turns to weird and just like shrugs and nods as if see Okay. Are you going to give me a hand with this? or? Sure, I have hands. Do you know how to use them? For engineering? I'm a quick study. Cool, keep up. It turns around and starts going to tear out the sensors. Yep. And they... Yeah, I mean, how about you give me a engineering rule and... I'll give you a roll for her as well. 36. Yeah, she's probably not following as well as she probably could be. Possibly because you're not necessarily teaching. Um, and also, while she does have knowledge of investment banking in space, she maybe doesn't have knowledge of how to repurpose sensors to become a probe. I think that's fair, given she's a whoever knows how many hundred years old queen from another time and planet. Um, so yeah. I think mostly she just hands you things you need and moves things from A to B or holds things in place for when you don't... Mm -hmm. for when four hands are not enough, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, is there any conversation during that particular exchange, or is it just a... Uh, I've got nothing specific to offer her. But, uh, yeah, he is going into Nick's focus mode. Mm -hmm. And, um, she kind of nods along to most of this as if trying to take it in, but definitely way out of her comfort zone, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and it does probably take a bit of time, right, to repurpose this and build some kind of propulsion system for this thing to get out as well and away from the ship, other than just you eating it. Um, so yeah, it's maybe a couple hours. Um, and I think at that point, like Zig, you maybe hear some kind of a. Uh, do you stay with like Isabel the full two hours, or did you do something else through that time? Oh no, I think I think he'd probably wander back. Um, after some amount of time, when he's kind of you know satisfied that like it, it like her her breathing hasn't like you know progressively got worse or whatever. It's just kind of stay constant or whatever, and then kind of wandered back. Yeah. Um, Assuming just needs rest. And, uh, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, she doesn't really budge for a couple of hours, at least, I mean, she definitely needs to sleep. Um, and the, even though it's a probably a terrible idea with a concussion, but the, nobody stopped her, so. Um, <laughs> good to sleep when you have a concussion. I think maybe if he, if he, he got in, he'd probably, um, uh, if he, yeah, if he got into where the, the shot away and whatever, he would, either pull up the CCTV footage to keep mm -hmm. it there, or ask Tanida to do so. Oh no, yeah, it's probably still open, right? Um, yeah. That's yeah, so you can keep an eye on that, definitely. Um, plus, I think for the most part, you have, like, f control over functions of the ship. It's just, like, you can imagine that command authority is definitely only with Tanida, right? Um, but I don't think she cares, like, I think she does trust you guys, right? Um, with control over the ship. Because use of experience flying spaceships and she just likes the fact that it's her spaceship so yeah that's probably the dynamic um, and yeah it's mostly just weird and Thanida repurposing give it a really good toss <laughs> you're a really good toss <laughs> and uh, I think maybe nearing the end of the construction of the probe we've got like a kind of you know, wobbly Isabel that heads into the shuttle bay. I kind of like reapplying space paint to her face with the, uh, you know, the space plaster. And then she kind of like looks everything as. So, what are we doing? We're going to throw that outside. This blender is about to make some miraculous discoveries. 
I'm very happy for it. I am... Um, I could have sworn I left that back on the other ship, though. You moved it outside the ship briefly. Oh, of course, my mistake. She's like rubbing her head. It must be the concussion. Yes. Because um, I do remember specifically saying it might be useful. And lo and behold... It still might be. You're right. Yes. In a situation that I envisage may happen. She just stares like her mouth like half open as if ready to volley insults. But no insults come out <coughs> of the mouth. Just mostly staring. I take that as a victory. <laughs> and uh, Thalia says, I am sensing a lot of intense sexual energy between the two of you. No, me and weird girls like this. Yeah. I think, um... Snyder High just, five! I think, um... <laughs> Snyder just, like, kind of does that double eyebrow raise, you know, to you when you say that. I am... Um, is this understanding humour now? And, uh... Scream. You know, well, she's not rolling her eyes. You know, they're, they're not screamers. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> There's some high quality Jeff Goblin. Um, <laughs> As was that unintentionally. <laughs> um, but yeah. And yeah, like, well, is there any reaction from Weird or a. I was about to say, or Isabel, but there isn't from Isabel because I'm Isabel. Weird is still just. One hand on the blender, just looking slightly smug. No reaction other than that. Yeah, I think it's just like, oh, tough crowd. Flat uh, roof of blender. And um, <coughs> Isabel says, "Okay, newfound humour aside, have we learned anything in my absence?" Yes. Zig, check that you're not dead. Uh, Good. She, not, she nods to Zig and kind of like, you know, almost half smiles. I goes, well, I don't think I am. So that's good. Well, you were, then you weren't. So I don't know whether it's one of those things that stays on or whether you can get better from it. I don't know how you would classify yourself now. Present, I think we'll do for now. Yeah, I recall having this conversation with Laika. But anyway, other than that, we made our Blender bot into a uh, Blender probe. I see. And you turned up just in time to see us launch it. Excellent oh, you heard timing. Side is very magic. Oh, do we know the nature of that or not? It's very bright. Unfortunately, not really. I see. But it's definitely there, and it's definitely magic, and it's definitely magic. Have you considered the possibility it could be magical in nature? It did cross my mind. Right. So, what does that tell us then that we didn't already know? Perhaps this is some... She starts shaking her head loosely. Uh, artificial place? She shrugs. I don't know why that necessitates it being artificial. Magic. It could be the space of the weave in between dimensions. I just don't be... think we'd survive that if it was raw in between 
source of magic place. Yes, and I did, did have the thought that it could be the ship is helping us fend off the negative effects but of whatever outside is. Yeah, well, the shields last, that is. Mm. It's iron nods after saying that, obviously. And, uh... I think at that maybe Zig would be like, have we noticed any, um, change in the, the shield's power at all since we've arrived? I think that just stands up and he uh, says, I think I'll go check that then. That's something I can at least do. Try not to throw anyone out of the ship while I'm doing that. And she just carefully walks out of the weird tension filled room and uh, heads off to the bridge. What about you guys? What's the plan? Which one of you wants to be throwing out the air lock? If your jokes don't get any better, I think I'll volunteer. Oh, please. It's so good just having those two be absolute dicks to each other. <laughs> it's like really easy, effortless, like RPO. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. Sniping. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think Zig's just waiting for the 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 go ahead for um to be told to either be out the way or ready to help push this thing somewhere. Or... Okay, so how do you want to get it outside? I think that's the better question. Uh, yeah, lock it. Yeah, that's that's probably the most having, sensible, right? Um, having tied something to it. Yeah, yeah, you can fashion some kind of cable, kind of like umbilical mm. to it, right? Um, I mean, you see, tie something to. It. What about a bomb? Uh, yes, that is my backup plan. I mean, it can be. Just might involve a bit more time, unless you happened to have a bomb on you. I don't. Yeah. You could spend more time making a bomb if you wanted. Just might not be things you can repair on the shuttle afterwards. We don't need a shuttle. This is fine. So, um, is it though? Is my question. Um, yeah. Right, okay. So, I think. Yeah, let's have this happen then, right? Okay, let's just, like, Tanida goes up to the bridge. Let's move this thing along. She goes up to the bridge, comes back saying, the shields aren't on. Well, that rules that out then. See? We've, we've, we've got something. Well, I don't feel angrier than normal, so I think I'm... Okay for now. Mm. I have some concerns. Oh, I have plenty of concerns, possibly enough for all of us, but I feel... Let's find out what the Blender knows. Hey Blender, what do you know? Oh wait, can you put it outside first? Mm -hmm. uh, I then airlock the blender. Yeah, so you head off to the airlock and then uh, you volley it out into space. Goodbye, Wally. <laughs> I think a single tear comes out of CC's eye. He doesn't know why yet, but a single tear from CC's eye. Half a galaxy away, possibly. In another world, who knows? Um, so, 
can you give me a computer check please when you obviously head back to the bridge to kind of read the information the probe is standing there we go thanks for all our we, we like and know this is what we've been waiting for, right? This means I can actually move you all to this screen. Whoa! It's funky dunky. Isn't it? Cool. It's the intro to Doctor Who. Woo! This <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the intro to Doctor What? Uh, Doctor, <laughs> Doctor When. Doctor When. <laughs> yeah. Doctor When. It's the intro. Weirdly, that's a better name, isn't it? Yeah, Doctor When. Doctor When is. Well, we've just solved Doctor Who for you. Um, so, anyway. Um, that happens. You activate all the, the consoles and you get this kind of like telemetry and imagery back. And uh, the entire ship shuts down. I, I need a fort save from Weird. Oh, I'm good at fort saves. He lied. <laughs> Twelve. Yeah. So the whatever feedback has affected the ship seems to be affecting you as well. So you kill. Thump. And we switch back to the other ship. I think you may have made an error. Nah, it's fine. So? The error was trusting sake. <gasps> what? Uh, it's never an error to trust poor little Zig. The friends were the errors we made along the way. <laughs> Why does it feel like that's him to Alice? <laughs> uh, poor Alice. She's perfect. Um, Yes, so the doors kawoosh open and um, Babak is standing there uh, in like the equivalent of like civilian gear. And will, uh, he looks at yeah. um, you all and he says, permission to board. I would give him the. The gesture, you know. The what the fuck off? Gesture, just <laughs> the, 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 the finger, the, the after the arms. Like, yeah, the after do. Just gesture. flap your arms, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Says, interesting mode of transport. Dying scene. He's got like his hands clasped behind the small of his back and um, at his sides. And, oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, he says, he's also like he's fairly armed as well. I am. Um, no, no pun intended. Being a Kasathan, but like, you know, it's actually <laughs> we actual weaponry. Um, Maybe he was forewarned. Oh God. Um, <laughs> so forearmed he... is forewarned, as they say in Kasathan oh, space. Oh, here. Um, yeah, I, I, would, I would just tweet. Every other <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm being completely sincere. Um, yeah, I would just greet him with, you know, like um, Commander Babak. Kind of like waves his hand to dismiss that, and he says, "I think we are um, somewhat outside official channels here, Quint." Well, uh, what do you prefer, Commander Babak? Is fine. <laughs> is there somewhere to discuss things, or is this our meeting room? He looks around the shuttle uh, I would not uh, follow me. Take, we'll, we'll go to the, the standing room. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So and like, just, yeah, the standing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> like you said that way, um, you've got CC on your head, don't you? Yes. And um, I think CC. I think uh, like buyback refers to CC, and uh, looks up and says, "Your scuttermander seems to be pointing a gun." At me. Should this be a concern? Uh, 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 but that's just noise that he's doing that. Um, it's, it's fine, CC. It's fine. Don't tell me, Lee. Get your gun away. 
I wouldn't call him our skitter manager. More. Yeah, more like just a scout man. Yeah. Curious. Uh, they are not common in this system. Yeah. Um, we we ran into him in unusual circumstances. We, we, we'll probably get to that. That'll probably come up. Good. 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 I think um, CC like kind of like climbs down your back and like hides behind your leg with the gun still in his hands. I am. Um, it's kind of like just like looking at Babak from either side of your 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 leg. So. So. Where to begin? Yeah, I think we just we've seen change to the conference room, right? The the briefing room, if you will. Obviously, when we last spoke, uh, I was intending to do what I could to observe the Vesk, but circumstances didn't allow that. Happily, we do have some information that might be useful. Go on. The uh, the uh, departure of the Mogesh from Verses uh, was in part uh, I, I won't pretend to fully understand what's going on with them uh, due to his working with a bone sage by the name of Tectalanus I am quite familiar with this bone sage, yes this is presumably what's brought them to Triaxis. Um, if I am not mistaken, the Tectolenis Bone Sage has. is the current representative of Eox. In absence of Cinderell, he seems to be the one who has stepped forward, as best I can tell. Can there I, are... Can I just nods at this? There are obvious um, concerns as to their motivations. Um, we have pretty good reason to believe that uh, the Mogish's intention is to justify full-on invasion, but there are factors within factions, rather, <coughs> factions within the uh, Viscarium, which are resistant to the idea of resuming hostilities, while external threats like the Swarm, and now the Illyrian are present. Captain, you may be able to offer some more insight in the Vesk situation. Uh, assuming they're odd. As uh, Lyco, can I even think your name there as I was? Names? Names? Wow. Just, names? Wow. Hey, as Lyco just told you, in, um, the ship was um, actually acquisition. But the what? What? Yeah, you're, you're acquisitioned by. Um, got this from Matva, the small commander of. It's a different sort of organization within the Vesk. Um, she asked me to essentially assassinate the Mogesh. I am very pleased we did not have this conversation in my office. Um, it's a nasty business, but. Quite frankly, there's factions within the vest that don't want. Your justification is not charge. necessary if your belief that the Domogesh led Vesk presence within the Pact World system is going to lead to a conflict for Vesk invasion, then the idea of removing this leader does not upset me. Unofficially, uh, of course. Uh, well, I was 
as well. Well, yeah, the fact that take Palanis and Figgy were in cahoots, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. Uh, there may so, be some other um, information that we uh, should share that doesn't immediately seem related, but uh, a number of events that have been happening recently that didn't immediately seem related seem to be uh, turning out to be related. Yes, I'm. A, I have a concern of my own to raise, but please continue. You are familiar with the uh, former S. Kate Isabel Furler, I believe. I think I recall you mentioning this before. Yes. Narrows his eyes. Yeah. The S. Kate uh, decided that uh, she required our assistance uh, with a matter involving a uh, black dragon uh, by the name of Manny. Um, I don't pretend to know a great deal about drags and politics, but it seemed that he had uh, fallen afoul of. Uh, he's got like his wow. hand, one of his hands up to like his chin, like he's processing everything. Some sort of arrangement between this, them. This would explain why Demogesh and this Tectolanus have travelled to Triaxis then. Potentially, yes. The um the S Kate who as I say uh brought our uh, crew along in, in order to assist at this mission. Um Frankly, we were not particularly successful in, the, in no small part because, uh, well, she was killed during the mission. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, um, and, well, she's not really. It's, it's ex she's not dead. It's, it's, it's that's complicated. The difficult thing because we have her body in one place. And then she found us again in a different body. Hasn't offered an adequate explanation yet, but promises to in future. I believe there is a file on you of a similar nature. Sure, but there's only the one of me. I just got back up after a few days. She. It's like she just reappeared elsewhere. Um, is this a concern we should be. Attending to? It's not anything I'm... Obviously... The, uh... Ways of Abadar are mysterious. <laughs> but, uh... In my understanding, it's not particularly normal for... Members of the church to... Simply come back from the dead. Um... So it's... It's a concern the moment she seems to be an ally but um, I was alarmed and uh, she seems to have some greater involvement in all of this than she shared but I don't know what it is from my limited understanding of Abadar I would not be surprised if this was some form of bargain made for servitude that would make sense. However, the mm. these files are for Kasetha's eyes only. Of course. Um, some other players worth mentioning. Um, in addition to the possibility of, of a <laughs> Vesk civil war, we also have the Aspis Consortium. The uh, ousted. What was his role? What was Edgar's role? Acquisitions. Uh, acquisitions. acquisitions. Yes. Head of acquisitions. The ousted head of acquisitions, as Edgar Wesland, is um. Well, he's currently, as far as I know, on Akaton. Your former uh, employer, I believe. Well, he was uh. An employer, certainly. Um, but his intentions are unclear, and I am skeptical that anything good can come of them. 
Do you Especially have a reason that I could arrest him for? I doubt I could find anything to justify an arrest other than... Hmm. Other than if we actually catch him in the act. But I don't know how we would do that. If you can find that something on him that I can use to justify some form of incarceration, I can at least remove him from the board for you for a time. If it will help. We can try and come up with something, but I don't know that we have... Aspis have been pretty good at covering their tracks. Everyone knows they're... I thought he no longer had the backing of Aspis. Perhaps he will get desperate and make a mistake. Perhaps he has already made many mistakes. I would not be eager for you to fabricate anything. This is my career, after all. I... I'm not inclined to fabricate uh, evidence. Uh, re regardless, he is connected to some of the other players in this unfolding... whatever it is. He, um... He has contacted Black Dragon Hamani. We know this because the Black Dragon appeared on our ship. I believe I may have told you this previously. The two of them spoke. I know not about what, but I know that they spoke. Additionally, both he and former SK and Isabel Furler have actively been seeking each other's head in a platter. Um, he is actively trying to take down his former boss, uh, M.O. Narakis, isn't it? Yeah, M.O. Narakis. Yep, that's it. M.O. Narakis and uh, whether mm -hmm. destroy her or, mm -hmm. or take over, I don't know. Narakis is often on triaxis. Do you know if she is at present? I can find this out, but it may take some time. This brings me to my other concerns that may overlap with this intelligence you bring me. And he, he looks at the, the table and says, How do you interface with your display? Um, with uh, hmm, fun. Fin <laughs> flickers in. Hey. <laughs> Captain. Um, can you please activate this one? Of course, sir. What would you like displayed? Um, I would gesture to Babak. And Babak just like looks between Finn and then to you and goes, Is this program trusted? Mm, it's. Yeah, about as trusted as it could be. Thrilled, Captain. Well, Thrilled. Uh, would not give a vessel it. And, uh... Yeah. He just kind of, like, blinks <laughs> in his <laughs> hologram form. And, uh... Finn then motions and shows Babak how to, like, you know, connect his device up to the... You know, you turn the USB three times and you get it in, you know? And um this kind of like, like a Starfield map appears, right? And it's obviously the packed world system that comes up. And then it says Given the movements of the Vesk leader, you see it looks at Finn when he says that, uh Demogesh and the the Bone Sage Tech Delanus. The movements and concerns regarding Humani and Emma O. Narakas. It seems like these four being near Triaxis is not necessarily mere coincidence. This adds many concerns. However, 
I had sent a surveillance ship to follow Tmogesh and Tectalanus. It has not been in contact and it is long overdue contact. This is a problem. I cannot necessarily send a steward vessel without reason. However, a Vesk ship may not raise any questions given that half the fleet of Vesk ships are orbiting triaxis. Can I rub my chin? Yeah, just nodding. Let's see what this is going. <laughs> Furthermore, my attempts to get any information on its last known position track Eoxian cruiser drift signatures which is a mighty concern so they're uh, they're confident enough to uh, well let's make the obvious assumption your ship hasn't reported back to you because it's either been destroyed or uh, acquired. Um, the they're confident enough to uh, interfere with what they must suspect is steward surveillance. He looks at Zora, and I am back to you, Lyco, and says, I would request that you could bring me answers to this, but I need the data gathered by that ship, if it is intact. You seem to have a vessel large enough to extract the crew also, which would be very important given the sensitive nature of their mission. However, if they were alive, I imagine they would have done what they can to get the data back to me. Would not. Um, Captain, if you're if you're happy with that, I would be. We can definitely help your men. Perhaps you could maybe help. It's technically, one of ours. In the meantime, he raises an ocular ridge. Um. As got, forced, got, <laughs> got forced off the planet the last time we were here and we left behind um, oh he's talking about the ooze <laughs> yeah I mean it's a bit of ego right <laughs> forgetting who I'm asking but I guess mm -hmm. get, get I mean you have discussed you political point. assassination <laughs> yeah, right I mean, you <laughs> that point right the cards are on the table um, yeah we left behind uh, an assembly ooze the last time we were on the planet could kind of use it, get it back, would kind of like it back, but evidently getting on to Versys in our current situation is quite, quite the light show. I believe I am aware of this ooze you speak of. I am sure a report of this crossed my desk several days ago, in fact. That's some strange jelly cube thing 
was spotted wandering the streets of verses. <laughs> if you could perhaps maybe retrieve or at least find exact whereabouts for us while we're retrieving or helping your men, that would be very much appreciated. I believe this can be done. If it is retrievable, I will return it to you. I will reserve the questions it raises for a later, yeah. more appropriate date. I also appreciate that. Ken nods once. <laughs> I um, would request that you return the data core of the Kivolari to me personally. I would not risk transmitting this information in case you are intercepted. I assume the previous com would be the best way to get in touch. That was a Kasathan secure channel. I would appreciate not having to explain why non Kasathans were able to access that frequency. <laughs> um, I would kind of look towards CC and I'd be like, uh, I think the secret's safe. <laughs> I think CC looks at you and then you start going, <laughs> I would kind of like see what I mean. Like. And I think um, <laughs> Favak looks up at CC and then starts making similar noises back to him. Oh my god, he knows how to speak C. Yes. Get a reminder. Yes. Huh. And uh, CC like shakes his head and looks shocked, obviously, and then like points at himself with an open mouth. Uh, perhaps you'll need to teach me how to do that at some point as well. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, your physiology would hold you back. And he gestures to like his face mask that he's got covering all of his mouth, because obviously Kasathans never show their mouths. I was surprised when you could identify him over the phone as a skittermander. The Kasathans have studied their species. Oh. Okay. Another time, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> yes. Try and stay off Kasathan frequencies. I don't want to have to explain any of this to the Adari. Uh, I'll, have, I'll just point out. <laughs> That's fair. It was, it was uh, my suggestion. Would he, we contact you through back channels? Uh, Technically, I forced his hand. So. I will. Uh, no further explanations required. Time is of the essence. I have explained how to contact me to your Skittermander cremate. I will Very return good. to the surface now and see if I can locate your assembly ooze. I would not. C Commander Bebek, one thing though, I, I was surprised that you referred to meet in orbit. Is the situation so tense on the surface? And he kind of just like stares for a couple of seconds. Obviously, it's hard to read because half his face is covered. But um, mm. he kind of like his maybe like his eyes soften a little bit, and he says, "Unfortunately, the weight the stewards once had is rather pale in comparison to the tensions both the vesk." presence in the system, and the power shift that this new station above Triaxis will bring. Things are very different now, and it upsets a lot of people. Mm. See. Never mind drift travel being very difficult with the relocation of the star stone. Of course. The system is in <laughs> turmoil, unfortunately. 
has there been have you heard anything of any sort of actual organized response to the Alibrian? I have only known what you have told me, unfortunately. Sadly, I have had more pressing local concerns that I have kept that. me busy. I, in an ideal system, I would have had the time to have investigated this relocation of the Starstone. It was very much considered an Eoxian power play. You telling me <laughs> this is an Alibrian. I am rather eager to return to the Adari and seek counsel on that matter. But I will wait until you return with the information I request before I seek them out. And north. Is there any other business we should discuss now? Out of character. Is there anything we should pass on to him that's particularly important? Oh, the Queen. Did, did we want to do that? She's not present. But I was going to say, like, ultimately what could you achieve with that at the moment? Because the plan is to meet back up with him, right? Yeah. I mean, you could mention it if you wanted to, but I just don't know what... You know what, what? I'll, I'll mention it in passing. Um, I'll kind of downplay it maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, one thing that will probably come up, uh, obviously events in, within the draw at the moment have been a... within the draw society at the moment have, uh, have been a bit uh, tumultuous, but the previous queen has re-emerged, or so she very convincingly says she is. I mean, I can't pretend I was around at the time. Um, not many people were. That, that might that might lead to a shift in, in the drought position in coming months and years. But at the moment, she hasn't had the chance to re-establish herself yet. Does she have more of a claim to the throne than the current Queen Lanterelle? She has, uh... Well, her primary advantage is that she's still alive, uh, and secondary one that she stated that she's previously been Queen. You have her intel regarding the death of the Drow Queen? <laughs> You're um Oh you're probably gonna find this a little frustrating. It was the Alibrian that killed her. And he kinda just like thinks for a bit and he goes, When was this? Shortly after we last met, uh we I mentioned earlier we had a mission. Um uh, we had uh, we had a couple. Was it shortly after we last met? Yeah, it wasn't long after. Before, right? was it? Or was it before? It was before, yeah. <coughs> pretty sure it was before. Because yeah. we last spoke in Versus, didn't we? Uh, probably yeah, was. Yeah, it yeah. was before Versus. Yeah. I th so was, this was, uh, I believe, prior to our previous meeting. I uh, I may not have mentioned that the it was before. it was before Absalom. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good Absalom, point. Yeah. The, uh, the Alibrian... Um, intervened while we were recovering a um, member of our crew who had fallen into uh, captivity um, due to some strange mystical circumstances. I'm not going to pretend to understand. He ended up in their vaults. I think um, you may have been misinformed, Quint. I have very trusted intel that Lanterelle is also in Triaxis. Is it by any chance based on a DNA signature? He kind of looks at his um, belt, pulls off his comm device, and interfaces that with a display and pulls up like CCTV footage of Lan Terrell and ah. and her paladin. This is alarming. So I think with that we caught to the other ship. So, kaleidoscope guys. 
Is there a kaleidoscope? I... Yep. So... Weird. Yes. <laughs> you wake up... Yeah. And... You can see... Like the bridge. You can see the people staring at the images of the kaleidoscope from the probe. Um, mm -hmm. Everything's in a weird filter. And you can feel somebody watching you. Can I see who's watching me? No, it's like just that kind of weird, creepy feeling of yeah. like, hmm, somebody's behind me type vibe. Um, and then, like, you can start to see the colour fade from, like, the bridge and the people and, like, the kaleidoscope. Except outside the actual, you know, window. Mm -hmm. And, um... It keeps keeps fading slowly and slowly until, like, the details of these people become almost, like, a... You're almost ethereal, right? And, mm -hmm. uh... You hear a voice behind you. Saying, Are you supposed to be here? You're not accounted for. I turn around. Yeah, and there's some kind of strange looking, like, ever shifting piece of light in front of you. What are you? Very confused as to what you are and why you are here. Where is here? The fact that you don't know means you're misplaced. Yep. Good. I was worried I had miscounted. Where is here? Where were you last? Uh, flying towards a star. Do you know which star? Does it go by any names? The... the sun. It also goes by the Burning Mother as well, just in case you wanted to also know that. The sun? Yes. Is it some kind of child? No, it's spelled differently. How interesting. Where is here? That would be difficult to quantify, given that you are not from here. I am both here and from here. Okay. If I had to translate, you can call me second. Who's first? First is elsewhere. What are you? Here. And how can I be misplaced? Because you were not from here. How many are there here? Here there is one. I am second. One is elsewhere. You don't get many visitors, do you? This is why your presence here is very intriguing. Have you come to inspect the work? What work? The only work that I am here for. Yes, can you tell me what that is? Your form is so curious. May I take it? I'd rather you didn't. Do you have a preferred form? I mean, this is my preferred form. I would like to keep it. You may keep your form. Do you want to copy my form? Would it be more comfortable for you as an interface? I'm not sure there's much in the way of comfort here anyway. Yes, you are rather anxious, it seems. That's because I still don't know where this is. Here. I know it's a difficult concept for you to process. It is because you do not belong here. Yes. It's, it's less that it is a difficult pro. Uh, concept and more that is just tautological. I believe another form would bring you some comfort. Sure. 
and he takes the form of like Nyx, for example. Mm -hmm. um, would weird know what Nyx looked like? I don't yeah. mean Nyx Five. I mean Nyx. Oh, uh, well, because Androids kept the same physical form for the most part. Okay, yeah. So like Nyx yeah. Five is just like a kind of old, old version of Nyx, then, right? And I don't mean yeah. old as an aged, but I mean literally, uh, just an yeah. older model, like you know. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it can. I guess he just looks like a much younger looking Nyx Five, right? Or nice a less, detail. yeah. Less worldly visited, um, and like the light kind of like coalesces into this this form, and it says, "I find this much more suitable for interaction with beings of a limited capacity." Okay, and what do you want to interact about? And kind of like tilts its head, it says. I tend not to interact much, but I can show you the work. Would you like to see the work? Sure. Excellent. I think, like, you know, as if somebody learning what a smile is for the first time, the face, like, creeps up. That probably is quite disconcerting because it's probably horribly stop motion looking and it's probably the first time Nyx has ever properly smiled, right? <laughs> um. It says, this form allows such feelings to be expressed. Yep. Yet a lot of it is artificial. Interesting. Let me show you the work. And uh, like the ship like just fades away, right? The people of the ship fades away. You're in the big kaleidoscope, like, you know, cloud, as it were. And then you are taken to like, you know, the space and time around you maneuvers to the point where you're standing on like a moon mm -hmm. looking up at this. It isn't finished yet. There's still a lot to do. Who is this for? But Galarian is nearly rebuilt. And that's where we end the session, obviously. Yep. What the fuck did I miss? <laughs> so. Would we, um. like to name the session? What the fuck did I miss? Mm. Um, yeah, right. Mm. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there anything else? There you go. That's an idea. I also really like Kaleidoscope. Um, with Kaleid being the main word. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What's the thoughts, gang? Any suggestions you want to volley into chat? Um, <laughs> it's not Galactus. <laughs> I like this if you squint hard enough. Mm. Um, ooh. Cassathan frequencies. <laughs> uh, what about the work is not done? Or maybe even just the work. The works. Or, <laughs> yeah, right. Hashtag doing the work. Yeah, it's maybe too long a title. Would you oh, like to say that? Wow. <laughs> um, I was away for like two so I don't my fucking dash out. So did, you, did you get the ending or did you miss that entirely? I'm at, I got, like, I guess it must have been like three quarters of the way through the new mystical entity. I see. Okay. Uh, you I don't think I caught well the very last part. I don't think I caught the very last part. <laughs> you may you may have missed something quite big then. Um, yeah, weird was shown oh, what the work was. Would you like to see what the work was? Uh, I was like to see what the work was. That's literally probably just about where I like had the bounce. So they were standing. They were standing on the moon, uh, looking up at the planet, 
and the entity said, it, there's still a lot of work to do, but Galarian is nearly rebuilt. Ah, so it's like the planet that go blue, bloody boom, 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 boom. Yes, yes, it's, it's Planet uh, Pathfinder. Yes. Um, oh, it's, it's the one that went missing during the gap. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the one that was in the possession, roughly, of Absalom, Absalom Station. Mm -hmm. um, can I just ask, sorry, I, I, I had to go to the toilet, so I missed a few minutes just before that. Who was saying that? Second. Second? Mm -hmm. that, is that the thing's name? Was that, that, that the... Yeah, the yeah I think that? first was okay. somewhere else. So, elsewhere. first elsewhere. is elsewhere. Deepest. Yeah. And second is here. Okay. Right. Cool. What about that's second that's is here? Well, I think that's probably a good name, right? Second is here. It certainly is timey wimey. Mm. Um. I think the trick is just never go with Zig, right? Never go. With you can't pin that one on me. I don't blame anything I like in you. <laughs> 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 What's the thoughts then oh. for names? What we're going to call it? Oof, eh, eh. Besides Galarian to Electric Boogaloo. It's <laughs> definitely. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, you're loving it. <laughs> Bad world. Um. Hmm. Right, let me think. Um, was this too big for everybody? Was there too much? Was that okay. was that the problem? I'm not sure if you had to pin down as like the takeaway. Lost that spit. Um. So we just call it Apollo four forty. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Fahrenheit nine eleven. Uh, Space eleven. Weakest link. There we go. The the leakiest wink, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. The leaky wink. <laughs> Doctor Wen. <laughs> Doctor Wen. Doctor Wen is a bad idea. Um, <laughs> is the radiant supreme the bad guy? <laughs> is he the killer? I think is the title right. Is the radiant supreme the killer? Um, um, oh, look, oh, hey, look. Oh, I know oh, two time travelers. <laughs> One of them is currently dead. So the yeah. other must be at fault. Uh, uh, I don't know, something about being lost, you know, since we're going to go cat find some lost dudes and, uh, well, oh, potentially hold on. I've just had there's, there's, an, lost in space, you know. there's an episode of a TV show, I can't remember what it is, um, somewhere. Alright, so what did we learn this session, right? So we started off by learning, um, I think, um, what did we learn? Did we learn anything? We spoke to Babak. We fixed the ship's drift, cut off, and then got lost in a kaleidoscope. And then repurposed the blender again. Oh, oh, oh! How about time and relative dimensions in space? <laughs> it's an option, but it's a very long I title. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I was pleased with that. Got your babak. Got your babak. I mean, it's as good as any suggestion, right? <laughs> it's spelled. Do we have a? Do we have uh, a consensus at all? Uh, what about um a really terrible suggestion like probe deeper? But, well, how about lost and found? found. You know, we're going, we're going and a slightly Adamsian twist. Ah, we have gone for lost and found, actually. Just, just found <laughs> Galarian, you know? I mean... <laughs> he's died. It was Nico, he's gone. Nico left in outrage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. He's returned in outrage. Uh, right, do we have a winner yet? No. I see. Okay. 
I like that we went for the same joke, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly, money can't just fix this immediate problem, can it? Back to back back. B I G P O P P A, no info for the D E A. Mm. Uh, federal agents mad because we flagrant. Um, no. Like, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So, I think Lost and Found is pretty valid if we don't have that already for another title. That is yeah, right. that was like one we might have used already. Um, Maybe that, actually. Let's have a quick look at the, the list. See if I can find... I'm trying to think... Um, See, I feel like elsewhere might matter more if you'd met first and not a uh, second. It's a valid title, Alex, but it's maybe a bit long. <laughs> it's a very valid title, yeah. It's very uh, nose on the, you know, was it nail on the head? On the nose? Nose on the nail. Na nose on the head is what I was going to say, but I don't know, like, it's more of a, a CC thing. Um, let's see. I don't actually think the is lost sound, weirdly. Somewhere in space and time? Weirdly. I should have a look through our, our list. We've got... No, I think... Honestly. Um, I'm just going to put oh. my, my vote in just now for one. Have yeah. we done Lost in Space before? But with like a question mark. Well, I think Lost and Found works because Babak mentioned the lost ship and you found a planet. And they were lost in a different dimension. But Results. beyond that... I'm trying to work out what else, because we've got, got your Babak, which I don't hate. I quite like that. I really don't hate, because we've got Babak's Babak, and he's got mm -hmm. a Babak, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate that. Yeah. Um, I feel like, though, people will be like, how the fuck did they name it about Babak, given that episode? But then that's a non-spoiler title, isn't it? Lost and yeah. Found's a, f a fair non spoiler one as well. Lost for a second, I think... If that could be reworded to be something like Lost With Second, maybe. Um, yeah. Well, I'll just be a uh, big idiot for The second my, like, only makes you wonder. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do Except some lyrics like, in case. It's yeah. like wonder is in awe and wonder. Mass and Intelligence is a good plan as well. Um... Like lost in intelligence. Lost uh, intelligence. Yeah. Kaleidoscope and dagger. Right, there's that, I guess. Um, how the f Why is kaleidoscope such a hard word to spell? <laughs> Kaleido. Wait, kaleidoscope. Oh, yeah, okay, right, kaleidoscope. So, um, weird in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> You got that from the kaleidoscope, at right? yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I see what you're doing there. Yeah, let's do Beatles ones back in the USSR. <laughs> kaleidoscope and dagger. Um, mostly for the play on cloak and dagger with using Babak, obviously. Um, I'm going to collect missing intelligence. Seems right. I think that might be winning then. Oh, that one. And I guess I better give it a vote I'll, so I I'll also look like I'm conforming. There we go. There we go. We got a name. Yes, I win. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you win this time. Yes. You win this time. You win this time. So it's the, it's the mini game. Star goals. Star the goal. Goal one. I don't think so. Still in goal. Goal two. Still. Goal, 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 so. goal, <laughs> goal three. In progress. Goal four. Maybe. I I think an Incomplete. argument could be made. We certainly brought him up to date. Have we gained assistance? I mean, He's I, I was gonna say. Right I, I would He's say. Going that, to, yeah. I would say that's done, right? I mean, we whether or not he succeeds as a part of the. Yeah. The yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then goal okay. five. No. Not yet. No. 
Um, uh, unless we've travelled forward in time and Zig is now the Radiant Supreme and now he can confront himself. I think the problem is that Zig is looking at a picture from a probe that used to be a blender and has no idea what's happening to Weird. Might have to go for a walk outside. Mm. Or That's help right. we'll Weird up. Idea. Yeah, like wake Weird up maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Take weird with me. Yeah. If you're point. going, I'm going too. <laughs> like a Titanic scene just out in the kaleidoscope yeah. sea. Oh dear. Yeah, valid, I guess, right? Um, okay, so goal four. Let's try and reword that maybe to something relevant, shall we? <laughs> uh, um, what would you like your new goal to be, given that I've please. bombshelled you quite a bit? Order. Um... Or are any of them changing in the fact, given that you maybe have some kind of, you know, mission to go in and get some ship intel now? I mean, yeah, that would make sense Excuse to me. put that one down as one of them. Whether or not that'll be done in a session or two, we'll see. But for the time being, mm -hmm. get the steward ship intel slash crew slash bodies yeah it was very much a case of it would like the crew recovered but the assumption is the fact that they haven't managed to make contact means they're probably yeah. not recoverable if I have to do my best uh, weird impression and drag nine dead bodies <laughs> in space no one can hear you drag it's fine yeah um Okay. Unlike Prometheus. So, are we gonna are we gonna shelf any other goals to make room for more relevant goals now? Based on what's got. Right. Okay. 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 Anyone else? Uh, not yet. I'll ask again next week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's yeah, let, yeah, let's have a definitely a next week. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's let's leave it till next week. Time then. to yeah. process. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys made it. Yep. So, have. do you want to shimmy uh, that list down again and put a wee gold bar in? Um, that seems difficult and time consuming. And so, right, okay. so, and so, I don't know. Enzo, uh, so, Jeff down. Boom. <laughs> and you uh, guys have to Nope, it goes to 10, remember. The deal we made. Oh, the yeah. previous one just says level eight. Oh, because we're jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Doing a little bit. Ah, I moved the thing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So he's got to be level 10, uh, which is nice. Uh, that's a thing. Be that for yep, next time. We will. we will be that. That'd be good. Let's, let's do our wrap up chat and let's just. Let's start with weird, shall we? Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, so much NPC nonsense. <laughs> I'm talking to these characters. They hurt. I have at least tried to half my job. Um, yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the banter with Isabel. I had much fun. It is interesting because, um, yeah, it's one of those things where I think a lot of people watching the TV show would be like, so wait, wait, when did they fuck? Like, is that, <laughs> did they just get out of their system? Can they fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. It's <laughs> um, so when uh, you find out she's a robot the whole time. What is fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's this fuck. Oh. Uh, no, actually, I really enjoy hearing this stuff going with, uh, with Lyco and the captain. Um, there's like this intelligence and political angle that me and uh, Callum are managing to completely dodge. Zig and we are completely out of the loop with any of the actual practical things uh, and are going more for the existentialism and the troubling matters thereof. Um, it's almost like there are two halves of a galactic orange, you know? Yes. Zesty. We have burst open mm -hmm. and smeared all over the ship. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, no, I uh, also enjoy getting to make CC's probe, uh, CC's bot useful. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. If you could somehow keep a hold of that, I think he'd be over the moon. <laughs> yep. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh, just all around. I think it was a very nice uh, kind of. It's a good session to go up to level ten on. I think with that. Yeah, the mini really bombshell at the, at the end. end. Yes, yeah. the work is not complete. Yes. Yes, um, so I was getting some strong Douglas Adams vibes through that. Yes, very much so. Had um, I been able to rip off the visuals of Douglas Adams by just having that actor come in, Bill yes. Nye, because <laughs> it was Bill Nye, right? It was. Yes. Yeah. He's fantastic. Uh, he was. <laughs> But yes, it was very much that vibe. Um, yes, anything else you'd like to add? No, no, that's it. Excellent. Let us move on to our fearless leader, Sora. Oh, that, uh. I, I thought you were going to say, like, Zygosob. I was like, on the edge of my seat. I was like, who's the leader now? <laughs> CC, uh, right? <laughs> well, that's about your bombshell, right? I mean, I missed it. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate, but I didn't miss it. <laughs> I was here, just not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so to off to our fearless, uh, over to our fearless leader, Zara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good to get the back fold done. Uh, and it was pretty wacky seeing the mechanical melancholy, take two, mm-hmm. of the other group. It's good fun. Mm-hmm. Um, interested to see where, what will happen when we go try to rescue the other crew that we don't know about. That's going to be and interesting. Where, wherever they are, yeah. Mm, wherever they are. It's nice to be level 10. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure it will be lovely to be level 10, yeah. Yeah, we made it guys, only 60 sessions. Um, which is one level every six, right? So that's not terrible, really. <laughs> and I really like the just the sake sake comment a weird to Isabel. But some of them were just so got a damn savage man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just oh, that yeah. like Sanida has in her brain that she's clearly put money on who's airlocked first by the other, <laughs> but she's not revealing who she thinks is winning that. Oh dear. It's beautiful. Uh, that's about it. It was a good, good sesh. Good sesh. It's good to be the level, the level ten. Mhm. 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 And uh, let's go for, and dare I say it, Colin. Uh, Lyco is up. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I do genuinely enjoy your reluctance, <laughs> Colin, for the end. It's, it, it's it's honestly flattering. It's because I like to change who is first and last. And generally, if I think somebody's the most tired, I'll try and let them go first. But often, if I move you up that line at all, because so you're not always not first, sometimes that means everybody else becomes tired. No, no, I'm kidding. Karen. <laughs> Utterly shameful <laughs> thing I have. Like, this is... Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm honestly. So, Lyco, how did you feel anyway, about that session? Uh, there, were, yeah, there, there were some interesting developments that obviously we don't yet fully understand. What happened with the fucking Drow Queen of Yester? Lanteral. Yeah. Yes, Lanteral. I'm, I'm never gonna remember Lanteral, <laughs> even though it's not the hardest thing to remember. But um. Caesar is not further. Further is fine. Um. Yeah, Lan- Lanteral obviously appears to be back, so we're left with the question of is this someone creating the illusion that she's back? Mm. Is something weird, timey wimey happening? Wasn't me. Um, yeah, th- so that that's curious. It's uh, strange and unsettling, you know. Um, what else is, is there that was kind of timey wimey? Um, was there anything else timey wimey? Well, there was certainly the weird shit with Galarian. That's mm-hmm. a blast from the past, also. Mm-hmm. Um, there's definitely been a lot of timey stuff happening, and I personally blame the Radiant Supreme <laughs> because he's been present for a lot of it or connected to it. I see. I find it all deeply suspect. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm curious to see how that unfolds. I have no idea what the hell to make of her being back. I think it's timey-wimey stuff, but I don't know. Um, obviously, the other ship was, was, was fun to observe their banter. <laughs> it was nice progressing, uh, going back and filling in Babak. Cause I quite liked seeing Babak back again, I'm not going to lie. That was, was quite fun yeah. for me. <laughs> and I always like to get, you know, get an opportunity to be Lyco doing, you know, just cop things. <laughs> And so yeah, that that's always fun for me. I uh, if I had to cast Babak, I would definitely uh, resurrect. Uh, is it Don Davis? His name was. I can't remember the exact actor. Uh, that did uh, Major Briggs from Twin Peaks or General oh, yeah. Hammond from Stargate. Um, I don't know who the latter is, uh, but, but I know Gen yeah. uh, Major Briggs. Major Briggs, is excellent, and uh, yeah. yeah, the actor was fantastic. He, yeah. he is sadly dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he. He's been an interesting character. I didn't know quite what to make of his decision to come on board, and then I was like, ooh. Um, so yeah, it's some cool, cool part advancement. We've got some weirder dynamics going on in the other ship. And I think we always knew that'd be the weirder ship. <laughs> yes, be because of uh, Zig being there. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Even though that most of this is probably Weird's fault. Right. Oh, I wouldn't be shocked at all because he's done alternate universe stuff and not told anyone, and that really is quite rude, I think. I'm sorry, um, I don't go asking you what you do in your alternate universes. <laughs> it's because no one else does that. Um, it's kind of your fault, then, isn't it? And also, this session he did tell somebody that for the yeah. first time. Of all no people, of all people, Isabel. I know. <laughs> She's just the person I feel closest to. Emotionally. This, this, this yes. is why I'm. This is why I'm the guy that talks to the NPCs. Is this it because you are both dead inside, Alex? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so that's an interesting one. I'm cu I'm curious to see what's coming up. Um, it did seem like a lot of, obviously, a lot of interacting with different NPCs can sometimes be. It can sometimes be hard to keep up with. Mm. Um. So credit to to y'all um, for 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 making that happen because we kind of had a very easy differentiation between our NPCs that we were dealing with mm -hmm. because it's like you're not going to mistake CC for Babak or either of them for Alice. It's like, mm -hmm. but the two on your ship sort of talk more similarly. Um, they're different, but. Yeah, they're not so completely removed from each other that it's like you instantly would one hundred percent know. So that's like something that everyone had to keep up with. So props to you for for managing without you know falling into a hole and dying, um, <laughs> except in the sense that you fell into like another dimension. Yeah, um, that's what that hole, didn't we? or possibly the sun. Uh, yeah, so the planet from the previous game, not the previous game that we were in, obviously, because we weren't in that, uh, but the planet the from the previous game. Yes. yes, the prequel. It's because that's what uh, we're doing next, right? We're going to Pathfinder next to play that game. Is I'm assuming that's how people think of Pathfinder, right? It's the prequel to Starfinder. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, right. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I was hoping for Eberron. Mm. <laughs> I mean, eh, Eberron Finder. Eh, <laughs> like, good enough, right? I mean, it's uh, not called Galarian Finder. Yeah, I mean, you could always just try and, like, you know, spin the drift engine Wheel of Fortune again and <laughs> end up in fifth oh, end. <laughs> what about Dorfind? Oh, God. Um, anything else you'd like so to add? Lyco? painting. Um, no, I think I think I think I think I've word vomited enough. Zig. Yeah, whatever he said. Um, okay. <laughs> um, no, I I I was I was really good. I I really enjoyed like the just the differences between the two halves of the party. <laughs> the complete different experience has been wonderful. Um, I also loved the. Just the, the what the what the fuck, what what's hap what's going on what's going on, um I I loved that nobody knew what was going on and just kind of throwing ourselves at doing things to try and work things out. And, uh, Apply a blender. It worked. 
60 sessions, guys. Sixty. Yeah, Dear Ooh. gods, this is what happens when a game gets 60 sessions deep. You throw blenders at space rainbows and hope for the best <laughs> and find lost planets. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, all the Babak stuff's just really cool. Uh, I like Babak a lot. I think um, it's, is it that we like him or is it that it's so kind of grounded and understandable that it feels safe? <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, that's probably right. <laughs> Like he's I just don't got to do it. Him. He's too normal. Yeah, right. He's just it's like political problems. You're like, I understand these. I can get it. There are people that are assholes, and you don't like that. Good. And then you look over at the other side of the game, and you think, let's not look at the rainbow. Give <laughs> them our rainbows and sociopaths, mm. which well, is my favourite version of Dungeons and Dragons. Wow, that's uh, just prismatic spray, I guess, everywhere, right? Um, <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Like every every mm. NPC is a beholder. <laughs> I mean, valid, right? Valid. Imagine that game, though, literally every NPC is a beholder. <laughs> That's it. That's the game. Behold! <laughs> Be the beholders hate each other. <laughs> behold! Behold! And it's obviously called Beauty in the Eye of, and that's it. Um, anything else you'd um, like to add? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, that was really good. Well done. Well done, everybody. Um, mm. I, do you know what? I, I really enjoyed... Um, every time you jumped over to to like on the captain, it was nice. It was kind of like ah, I'm now listening to my relaxing podcast. Yes, um, <laughs> let's have a break. I can, I can sit down, listening. drink my tea, and uh, <laughs> just just think think of uh, the, the the niceties of the the universe. Yeah, Not, and then uh, you go and now back to them like ah, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's like yeah, trying to go crossword in Korean when we don't speak Korean <laughs> mm-hmm. and their house is on fire. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of those things as well where I've done this and obviously Callum's game recently where you think I don't know how to solve this immediate problem. So when the camera cuts away, you think cool, I'll use this time to think about it. But you just pay attention to what's happening elsewhere. You do not think about your own problem, and it comes back to you and you go, idea, yeah. I have not used my time wisely. <laughs> yeah, but that's I, okay. I, I went in with good intentions <laughs> because the Jedi way. Is no, no. So there is no try. Um, I th- hope the jumping between the two felt balanced enough for you guys as uh, well. For me, it was. I don't know about anyone else, but that's good enough. Screw everything else. No, so, go back and redo it. Okay, fine, fine. Rewind. Right, session one. All right, so go, I go did. get Olka and get rid of Zig. <laughs> I, think balanced. I trust Callum to do an old compression, it's fine. Okay, do you want to, you can be Emlyn for a bit, right? Callum. Oh man. Universe mm-hmm. is best dad. <laughs> Technically we're before that then. If we're going back to the start. If we're going back to one, no, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Um anyway, anything else you want to add, Callum? Before we waffle off um, too far. I feel like everything's been said. I don't want to keep everyone super late. I know it's late. Um, yeah. You're late. Congratulations on session sixty. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, well done. I Looks good. Play the sound effects. The ones that the people in the YouTubes use. Woo! We've made it. Uh, I don't know, like, ring the bell, have a midlife crisis, run some RP. Mm-hmm. Um, and thanks for playing, everybody, and goodbye. Bye, Bye, see you next week. Bye. Bye.